Oopsies. I forgot to double check to make sure that we were, um, it's not even connecting yet. I forgot to double check the audio. I had to exit and then re-enter the software. And I think I've made a boo-boo. I think I've made a boo-boo. Can y'all please let me know if you hear me? Help. Do y'all hear me? Do you hear me? I can't make no changes till I know that you hear me. Dollar Silver, do you hear me? Christian, do you hear me? Can y'all hear me? I don't think no, I don't think y'all hear me. I'm gonna wait until they can hear me. This is this is like a microphone check, but we're doing it live. Can the people hear me? I wonder if they can hear me. They hear, but I don't know if they hear me. Uh, yes, I can hear you. Okay, good, good. Okay, we good, we good. Now, it's time to disappoint a few of you all. You will find out shortly. I'm not even going to say nothing. You will see the difference made. For those that know, you know what's coming. Just bear with us. We got 157 of you all in here right now. Welcome to the end of the week live stream slash channel members only live stream that's right big baby I ain't even gonna put it on slow mo cause this is channel members only chat bam starting now boom at this point if you're not a channel member with the AOK Mafia you can't comment no more ha <laughs> ha nah I'm just playing I'm just playing we're doing this once a week. Since this is a live stream channel, it only makes sense that we do members, channel members only live streams more frequently, right? And if you haven't subscribed to me over on Patreon, make sure you do, because y'all about to get hella content from your boy. And I mean hella. Starting next week, y'all about to get content. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a little different. It's gonna be a combination of what you would get on the second channel. And a combination of what you'll get on this channel. But since we can post whatever we want over there, it's gonna get a little extreme. Adults only content. No, not like that. No. I'm just saying it's it, you wouldn't you wouldn't want, want your kids to watch what's going on, on 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 Patreon. Don't get your mind out the gutter. I ain't I ain't say that. That ain't where we going. <laughs> That's 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 another thing. I think it starts with the O and ends with the Y. No, it ends with an N. It ends with an N. There we go. We're not we're not doing that. No time soon. Anyway, what up, AOK Mob? Yeah, it's your boy Arthur Kicks and just like that. We back with another one. This channel members only live stream is not gonna be a short one. It's not, I promise you that. I hope you got your popcorn with extra butter or maybe fat free. You know, we need that. I need that. Your water, whatever you need. Go to the bathroom. Get it out your system. Get it in your system. Because we're going to be here a little while. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Y'all, I got to shout out my channel members right quick. Because they're in here. And my moderators, they're in here as well. Christian, Heather, April C. What's going on? What's up, Nikhil? Miss Hooper, Miss Hopper. I always say, I don't know which one it is. It's going to come to me. I'm going to figure it out. Heather, if I ain't say it already. Yum, yum, bubble gum. What's good with you? Becky, I'm seeing some of the same names in here. I always see Emily L. What's going on with you? I see you, Freaky Ziggy. Sabrina. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We is in here. I got to keep shouting you guys out. This is channel member. This is channel members only. Lamar was good. Rain Quest was good. Uncle was good. Rochelle was good. Douglas was good. James was good. Another thing, y'all. Something y'all can expect to be seeing soon from my content, especially on Patreon. I'm going to have all you guys' names written down so I can make a special little video at the end of my videos on Patreon so you all can see your names on there. That's right. That's going to be fun. I can't wait to do that. Celebrate my milestone with LK Mafia. 15 months, Candy Girl. Candy Girl. And she's a moderator. Shout out to her. 
What up, Karen? We miss you as well, too. That's my favorite Karen, y'all. If y'all didn't know Miss Karen West, she's the best. That's right. Douglas, shout out to you. Thank you for the donut. Y'all, we're about to get this party rocking and rolling. It's time. Y'all, this first video. We got two videos tonight. Both of them got some decent time length on them. This is about 20 minutes. This is 15 scary videos that are a complete mystery. Shout out to Chills. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Coming up in this video. Do you consider yourself a regular old Sherlock Holmes? No. Well, grab your magnifying glass and your fingerprint kits because these 15 scary videos are a complete mystery. What was that? Number 15, in the hospital corridor, ghosts aren't the only mysterious entity that haunts hospital hallways. TikToker King Mystery Us shares this freaky video filmed in the corridor. No. What? Oh snap, they only see the little bed rolling out. They didn't see who walked by. The back hallway. Why did they get so scared? They working in the hospital. As soon as they see a bed roll by, they get scared. It, it could have been one of their coworkers pushing the patient from one room to another. But they get scared and jump up immediately when they see a bed moving? This is not a hospital I would want to get treated at, man. These nurses are some punks. I don't care if it is 3 a.m. I knew they were Hispanic. This is a Spanish hospital. And you know how the Spanish be. Them, the Spaniards, they be real super, super duper stitches. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. They scared of everything at 3 in the morning. No mommies. That tells me they Mexican. What was that? First, you see some mysterious figure in what appears to be a lab coat pass by, but it doesn't quite look right. It's too short for one thing. To me, it looks like it could be a child or a monkey in a lab coat. The Shannon, as soon as you go to the main page right here, Art of Kicks, scroll down a little bit, it'll link you to the other two channels. Big baby! Nicole, thank you for the don't know baby. A second later, this even freakier thing scurries past. That's even creepier to me. The thing isn't distinct enough to make out what it could be, but I feel the way it crawls looks like an alligator. I'm not sure what to make of this video, but it looks like a, a really low bed rolling by, but I could be wrong. I do know I wouldn't go to this hospital even if my life depended on it. I'm with you on that, Chills. I would not. I would just take the L. Number 14, Grandma Visits. When this TikToker was told by his daughter that Grandma Visits, he recorded her bedroom overnight to see what she was talking about. Posted to TikTok by one. This child's mad creepy looking. Bring soul paranormal. This footage was captured around 11 p.m. I thought human eyes don't glow. Some some up with her. She, she might got a little devil in her. Look at the way she acted and moving her leg. I'm creeped out. I'm creeped out. If you know, if this was my child, and I looked at this little security footage in her bedroom. And I'm over here looking at her, and, and she's creeping me out like that. I would never be able to look at my child the same again. She walk in the room, I'm asleep. She be like, good morning, daddy. I'm looking at her like this. You ready to go to school? All right, go brush your teeth and grab your book bag. I'm about to take you in about five minutes. And then all the way on the way to school, I'm just looking at her like, for the rest of her life, I'm going to look at her like, <laughs> Could be my child. You I'm like, baby, why was why was your eyes glowing last night? Why they, why are your eyes glowing? You hear the young girl talking, and, and, and who you talking to? Cause you you wasn't talking to yourself. You were talking to somebody. At one point, the camera moves slightly. The clip lasts two minutes, and there are one or more voices heard throughout the entire length of the video. At one point, something appears to move on the left of the frame. Watch the shadows. I ain't even gonna lie. I was just like this when I was a kid. I just <laughs> should be sitting there, be talking. I think I still do it.
Eventually, the girl lays down to go back to sleep, but she is still talking. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all see me squirming a lot? I should have went to the chiropractor today. I'm feeling very uncomfortable in my back. In my opinion, she could just be talking to her stuffy that she's holding in the end, but many people in the comments say they hear a second voice speaking to the daughter. Some also claim they've had similar experiences with their own kids. Are grandparents looking out for their grandchildren, even after they're gone? What do you think? Number 13, Wailing Ghost. What would you do? Oh yeah, definitely. I definitely believe that the grandparents be looking out for the kids, for the grandbabies, for everybody. They be, they be watching. If you heard this sound in an empty office building at night, YouTuber King Tangu shares this video of what I think is just another co-worker that worked there, employee. And they just trying to work on a scene and they think nobody there but them, but they wrong. He assumes is a ghost at his mother's workplace. Nah, it's just a really bad singer, I think. The creepiest thing is, you can still faintly hear the wailing sound. Keep your day job. Yeah, because your singing, it ain't going to work. Well, I agree with the comments that this is definitely freaky. I also think it could just be another worker in the building trying to scare this person recording, ghost or not. I don't even think the other worker in the building is trying to scare the fool that's recording. I just think they in there practicing they singing for American Idol because they, they're not going to make it past the audition. I'd have a hard time not clocking out early after hearing this. Number 12, Mysterious Creature, shared by YouTuber Oops. Eyes Under the Bed and originally posted by TikToker PG Stories. What was that? That looked like the little thing from The Ring. This The Ring? Lords of the Ring. Creepy creature was captured on camera in a parking garage. That fool went out of the car. Where are you going? The creature looks to me like a house elf or like Smeagol. It's got a pale flesh-like coloring, a hunched back, bald head, and is short in stature with long arms. Yo, this looks like... Bro. This looks so good. <laughs> like, even if it is cap, right? Like, who caps this hard? This is so clean. It fits. It, it, it blends in with the... the, the the, the settings, the scenery, the way the camera quality is, it, it fits perfectly. The shadow on the ground, it looks like it's actually running on the ground. When the camera pans and you see it crawl underneath the car, even with all the camera movement, it does what it's supposed to do going under this car. I don't know, y'all. This is... this. Yo, that looks dope. Or clearly on the run. It looks so good that I'm like, yo, I want to see somebody fake this. Like, how you fake this? And I can't tell if this is real or not, but if it's CGI, it's a fantastic effort. That's what I'm saying. He took the words out of my mouth. I can't tell if it's real or not, but if it's CGI, it's a fantastic effort. Number 11. What is it? This one. Ha and yes, Becky, it was naked. <laughs> They must not have clothes where they come from. As many TikTokers scratching their heads. <laughs> what was that? It looked like a little South Park character ran by or something, man. What was that? I look like, I look like, what was that? Hold on, hold on. Yo, why, why did, I can't even describe it. Look, it looked like it's the head right here. And, and the head looked like it faces the same direction the whole time. And how is it to be so small 
You know the legs gotta be super close together like this. The feet. <laughs> How did it run so fast? It ran faster than than a normal human. He's like, oh snap, I've been caught. I'm out. <laughs> you yeah, that thing looked like it was uh it was like a little Mario Kart character. This mysterious creature was captured on camera being a real weirdo. A weirdo. It's hard for me to tell what it is at this distance. Is it a small cloaked being or a thing covered in hair? It like, 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 I've never, like, I've never associated the word weirdo with creature or animal. Usually a human is weird, but a, a, a creature or an animal? Does seem to have a bare face, but as it runs away. Heather, thank you. Thank you for the donut, big bear. Is it? TikTok has some fear. Candy girl, where you going? You're not allowed to leave. You should have used the bathroom before you got on the street. Is that a skunk? Well, I don't have any guesses myself. It really doesn't look like one to me. It looks like a small creature standing upright. Number 10. Man, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my birthday. I know my birthday next month, right? Y'all can send me gifts if you want. Y'all can send me some gifts if you want. Moderators, let them know where they can send a gift to me at. But, um... Yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for my birthday. It's on Halloween, and no, I don't want to dress up again. I've done that, like, the, the last 40 years, and I'm not even 40 yet. I'll be 35. Poltergeist, YouTuber Mel3385 woke up to a bang in her hotel room. This is what she found. What the heck? Oh, I thought my... I thought, I thought my freaking computer monitor was tripping for a second. I'm like, why is it so dark? So y'all see that too, right? And if that wasn't scary enough, when she returned to the bedroom, this happened. I hope she left a hotel review that poltergeists are running amok here and will disturb your sleep. Number nine, ghostly figure captured at around midnight on a family ranch. This Mr. Thomas, I'm not sure how many are left actually in a size that may be fitting. I think there's only like small available. Maybe that's why the link isn't working. Doubt, according to Redditor Clayton. But I'll actually check on that link um, later on this evening. My arm was His itching. girlfriend's cousin lives alone here. So who is this? His girlfriend's cousin live alone there. I wouldn't want to live alone all about out there. The semi-transparent figure stands ghostly white at the edge of the field. It appears to be walking or moving around in some fashion. Some in the comments think it's a banshee, others a ghost. But the skeptics are saying spider web or mist after watching the clip a few times. Mist I can see. Spider web? Nah, I don't see that. When was the last time you seen the spider web on camera? Especially when the camera quality looks like this. I feel like it'd be impossible to see a spider web unless it was right in front of the camera and there was a light shining on it. I'll have to go with Rex Victor on this one. Could be misty. I can totally see that now, but imagine if you were alone on this ranch at night and spotted this, it would probably send you and I running for the hills. Number 8, Ghost of Doomsday Daniel. In hey. the most haunted house, YouTuber sees Crazy Crossroads as- Hey, I need y'all to do me a favor. We're trying to get 500 likes by the end of this members only live stream. Y'all think y'all can do that for your boy? We got over 500 people in here. I'm sure there's a like button somewhere near you. Hit it for me. Ever seen the ghost of Doomsday Daniel appears, but before they meet him, they hear a woman scream and one of the crew gets hurt. What? What? What the f was that? Oh, Misty, booty, you too. 
As they continue to explore the house, they hear this menacing hiss. Joe! That's a hiss, dude! Man, there might be a snake in there, bro. What other animal do you know hisses? Do humans hiss? Why would why the why would a person hiss? That's that's kind of weird. Unless they didn't know how to whistle, they'd be like. And later, they're given a warning. <coughs> get out! You heard that? That just said get out. It was a gun. Was that Doomsday Daniel? It might be. And considering what happens next, he's likely getting aggressive. Oh my goodness! Nope. <laughs> nope. Finally, they witness some activity before their very eyes. Oh my! Look at that! Did that just fall over? Yep. What the Doomsday Daniel warns them again, and this time they listen. Oh, you're gonna listen this time, huh? Okay. Shh, shh. You shish, don't shish me. He said, get out. Bye. See you, dude. I'm going out. I'm going. Yeah, he, he got the right idea. He getting out. The other one, I don't know what he gonna do. Downstairs. I'm getting the f out of the joke. Come on, man. Seriously. The fear doesn't end, though, once they're out. Hey, hey, them boys scared for real. At least that one is. Side. Joe, set to. Oh, that ain't no cat. That sound like a, a weeping lady. Steve says cats be hissing. You know what they do? They do do that. It was moaning. You hear that? I remember now. But they don't sound like snakes when they hiss. That sounded like a snake. After seeing this, for some reason, the guys go back inside and they're given yet another warning. What? <sighs> it told you to get out. You didn't listen. It told you again. You got scared and left. Why you go back in? For it to tell you to get out again. It ain't gonna keep telling you. It ain't gonna keep. She, you don't wanna know what's coming. It's telling you to get out for a reason. If I ever hear something say get out, oh, I'm like, oh, I oblige. I'm right up out of here because you know something coming if you don't get out. And you ain't gonna like what's coming. So when you get out, stay out. Big brain energy. Come on. We're not here to hurt you. You think a spirit telling you to get out is afraid of you hurting it? <laughs> ah, the spirit's trying to spare you. Back outside, they again see something in the window. Oh, what? What? There was some. There was another image. Was it? I didn't see it. There was another image. Of... I was looking too. And they hear more screaming, though they can't comprehend it. Under the house, something is laughing at them. Oh, 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 tell me that just laughed at me. Who hit my head? Oh, you <laughs> Although Doomsday Daniel clearly has a sense of humor, I don't think I've seen a more haunted house than this. Number seven, Louisiana Ghost Girl. Michael, welcome. Kelly, welcome. Y'all can comment now. Members only chat. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hunting the Haunted. We're getting closer, y'all. We up to 305 likes. Let's get that 500. 
for your boy. Predator wrote, Ghost Girl, a 10 year old girl is buried inside this mausoleum in Louisiana. This was the most creepy place we came across. We had three cameras facing every possible direction, and this is what we captured. Little girl running. There was no way someone was in this. How did they capture a little girl running? I didn't hear running or see a little girl. Maybe I'm slow. Rosalie, without one of the cameras capturing it. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. I don't know if that sounds as as much as a little girl running as much as it just sounds like movement and scattering a little bit because I'm hearing multiple noises and none of it sound like running don't sound like that there were certainly some interesting questions about this video in the comments. Mm. Hippie Chick 66 wrote, It does sound like someone walking fast slash running, but sounds very clumsy. Did you capture anything else? What it does sound kind of clumsy. Love to see. I would also love to see all that they captured here as well. Thanks for the submission. Number six, extraterrestrial figure. This creature isn't for this world. Posted to TikTok by Mr. Illusions. Whatever is hanging out in this stadium is something we have. Hey, it's the same little thing from earlier that we saw, ain't it? Look like it. I swear, I swear that's the same thing. Hey, for those that missed my last live stream, just make sure you go check that out. I know this is random, but um, yeah, y'all didn't see it. You missed it. It was short, but it was good. Get to meet. Look at that. The he looks like, he's like, man. They left me on this stupid planet, bro. <laughs> How I'm gonna get back home? I ain't got no spaceship here. They don't even, this, these dumb humans, they don't even have the technology to build a spaceship. I know I look stupid because I'm naked, but look, we don't, we don't care about clothes. We don't need those where we come from. Everybody looks the same because that's where the future's going for these stupid humans they don't even know yet. I just want to get back home. <laughs> Flesh-colored creature has a humanoid body, its feet look like hooves, and its floppy limbs are much thinner than its torso, and then it lifts its head. He's like, man, I might as well get up and stretch and figure out my next move. <laughs> I need to be able to reach my home planet. I got to find how I can reach them. I, I'm going to go find a big satellite or, or telescope or something. I need... <sighs> he is so upset. <laughs> He's like, wait, does this human see me? Its eyes are glowing menacingly. It sees you. As it clambers to its feet, the creature appears clumsy. But then again... Oh, snap. I think you'd better run. Number five, ghostly figure, YouTuber Al Capone and his friend return. I ain't never seen something move so fast slash slow in my life. That thing. Into a haunted set. What was it gonna do? Was it gonna try to hurt somebody? Cemetery to capture some paranormal footage, and they left with this. A ghostly figure is lurking in the darkness. Here's an enhanced version of the figure. Any human-shaped figure would be frightening to encounter in a cemetery at night. This could be pareidolia, bro. 
He this could be pareidolia. Or he sees that this could might be a statue. He's in he's on like some cemetery grounds. This could be a statue. He looked back and because it's so far off in the distance and dark, he assumed it was a ghost or something. He don't know what that is. He can barely see it. Especially through this dang on potato ninety nine. But I have to wonder if it's not just a statue. El Pas is at least one white statue in his exploration of the cemetery. This one to the left. I want to figure on camera. There was something all white sitting on a bench over there. So is it a phantom or a statue? I guess we'll never know. Number four, Strange Spirit. This paranormal investigation turned up a strange spirit, published to YouTube by Amatov Paranormal. The team's paranormal devices are quickly triggered by something unseen in the vicinity. <laughs> A short while later, more devices are triggered, and then... <laughs> Something is in the room with them. This does not bode well for the crew, and whatever is there gets louder. <laughs> It's stalking them throughout the home. And at last, she reveals herself. Who is this spirit, and what does she want from the Amatov crew? I think she just wants to be seen. Number three, crawling figure. Something mysterious is crawling across this field, and that something is ultra creepy. Posted by TikToker creepy underscore zero one five. This thing looks like it could be human. But then it makes this sound. This could easily be a buddy of theirs. And they know they got this camera that just has just horrible, horrible image quality. It was like, man, look, if I record anything on this camera, you won't be able to make out what it is. This camera trash. It's so bad. We can use it to fake some paranormal, though. Hmm. I'm just saying, this could be legit. You know, it just... And it could be shared on the internet so many times that it dropped the quality of the footage, but... Nah. Whatever that is does not sound human, in my opinion. It's a humanoid of some kind, a rake or a skinwalker if I had to guess, but without a closer and clearer image, you Nah, it's just a white boy with no clothes on. Can't really tell. I think they did well to run. No a rake or a skinwalker. I wonder whoever came up with rakes and skinwalkers, if they're not real, let's 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 assume that they're not real. Whoever came up with them was like, you know what, we're gonna make them all white. So if we ever need to fake a skinwalker video, you just need a white guy with no clothes. A pale guy, a real pale one. Number two, Monterey Witch. This video is nothing short of flabbergasting. Published to YouTube by ND in 2016. This footage was shot in 2006 in Monterey, Mexico. Make them. Oh, I remember this footage. Dang, this was 2006 when this was shot. I think I first saw this in 2007, but I thought it was old back then. 
a buddy of mine showed me. He was like, yo, this is a freaking witch in Mexico. I swear, just about every Mexican that saw this video clip thought this was real. They're like, yes, somebody got those crazy witches on camera. I swear they believe. You can see a figure flying steadily through the air. It appears to be re Wait a minute, somebody was just telling me that they practice witchcraft. Getting upright, most assume on a broomstick. The original video is longer than two minutes. The figure stays in flight the entire time and can be seen soaring past cliffs. Exactly, that's what made me like trip over this clip. I was like, yo, it's still going. It's going past these cliffs. It looked like somebody's on a broomstick. Before disappearing out of sight. This is hor- This- Oh my god. This camera quality of this clip is so bad. It was so much clearer back in the day. It wasn't clear, but it was clear. Like right now, you should be able to see this woman, this witch looking person on this freaking broomstick or it looked like they're sitting on something, maybe a freaking vacuum cleaner. Heck if I know. They did that in Hocus Pocus, so I'm assuming they can do that too. It cleans, it sweeps. Anyway, and you see them clear as day go past this cliff. Where's that clip? It's been circulated on the internet so many times that it looks like this. So pixelated. See that mess? It was so much clearer back in the day. It was 10 times clearer than this. I don't know about you. Even this clip was so much clearer. But I find this footage fascinating. There's just something about it that seems... Had so much definition. They done turned... And this... It, that was the actual Potato 99 that they filmed that with, too. It was so... It was so long ago. Darn it. You bring a Potato 99 into 2022 and you got a Potato 99. Even though back in 99, it wasn't that bad. But now, it's unacceptable. And YT, and tap that follow button to find out number one. Y'all gotta leave me alone, I be ranting. On haunting of Josiah. Josiah is being run out of town by the spirits haunting his home. Redditor Disasters underscore news shared this creepy compilation video of posts originally shared on TikTok by Josiah Worley. In the first clip, the poltergeist won't let Josiah sleep. I remember this. I believe this guy. Watch for the object on the counter. That's not, that's not a, an anomaly, is it? Please don't let it be. Please, for f sakes. Please, for f sakes, stop. Just please let me stop, please. But it's the rest of the video that will keep me up all night. The very active poltergeist doesn't even care if anyone's around. It will move objects, break glass, slam doors, fling blinds, move chairs, throw things, and knock them over on re- What up, Sheila? We doing good up in here. Good to see you, big baby. Long time no see you, TikTokers in all the land. Whether to hide secrets or prevent panic, some- Y'all! Yeah. Think we doing good. Think we doing pretty good. We've been in here almost 40 minutes. That was the first video. We got one more to go. Channel members only. We live. We have 422 likes. We getting close to that goal. I wanted 500 likes by the end of this live stream. For my channel members only. All right. I mean, if you don't got to be a channel member to hit the like button, but you do got to be a channel member to chat. We do this weekly. We do this week. It won't always be the end of the week live stream, though. Y'all will get them randomly throughout the week. Pop, 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 pop. Got a busy week. Haven't been able to give y'all enough live streams this week. All right. It's time for the next video. The next clip was uploaded by... That's right, y'all here. It's King Frostmare. This video is titled The Scariest Paranormal Videos. You cannot finish part two. Lego. User from Paranormal. It was actually taken during a Facebook Live that occurred at Holocom Church in the UK. 
The group of investigators mainly focuses on live events, where they visit haunted locations that and take be. viewers around in real time. In this episode, the team was exploring the cemetery outside the church when something catches the group's attention. Before we find out what catches the group attention, let me go ahead and shout out some more folks up in here. Jenny, 1986, shout out to you. Another channel member. Char, see you up in here. Callie Graham, see you up in here. What's going on with you? V-Man made it. I see you up in here. Harold, got to shout out my folks that missed us before. Doing the first shout out, Andrea. What's going on with you? Did I miss somebody? Did I miss somebody? Harold, I think I got you. Shout out to y'all. Channel members. I have to. Be careful. It looks scary out there. And it's all dark, dark at nighttime. Is that a cemetery? Why they only got one tombstone? Oh, no. They got a bunch of them lined over there on the left. Yeah, definitely. What was that? What was that? Yeah, definitely. What was that? I saw a little something right there. A white mist seems to appear out of nowhere. That's what I saw. It takes the shape of a human. A white mist. Vanishing. It didn't look like the. Oh, it does kind of look like the shape of a human. The event happened so fast that it would have been easy to miss. Luckily, the group had cameras to capture the signing. There's no way this could have just been fog, given the density and the speed that the mist appears what up, there, and is gone again. So, what could this be? And why the vaguely human trip? This is a graveyard, after all. Shout well, out to Chris, the husband. Some spirits lingering around. Miss Marshall, shout out to your husband. You guys think? Chris. EJ R sixty eight, doing good. This video How was sent you? by user TX Treasure, and it shows a young man in the gym. The video. Yeah, I remember this clip. First time I saw it, I was like, Oh my god, this is so real. I might still feel that way. It was later shared by Carlos Royce, who supposedly works the security monitors in the gym. It was a pretty unusual encounter, since the young man in the video seems to have a run in with something invisible. say that a malevolent demon might have grabbed this man and dragged him along the floor. Could this be? One thing is for certain, he probably will find himself another gym. What do you guys think? Do y'all think his leg was being pulled for real or do y'all think that he was pulling our leg? <laughs> See how I did that? <laughs> Fact or fiction? I don't know, that toss of that pink thing that he had, this pink towel maybe? The toss of it, the way it looked like it was snatched away from him, kind of. And then he could have faked it to where as soon as he got on the ground, he crawled forward with one leg in the air to make it seem like something was pulling him. It's a possibility. But I don't know. I want to believe he was really getting yanked. They're like, why, why would they do this? Now we are looking at a video that was sent in by a user to the channel Fourth Wall. He has been documenting a haunted house for the last few months. In this video, he goes into detail on the history of the home to find answers regarding the paranormal activity he has been experiencing. That's the right, Rita, you made it! The first owner was a friendly man in his mid-40s who moved out of the home after less than a year for unknown reasons. There was one other resident to the home before the man bought it. However, very little is known about that man. The uploader has security cameras in various spots around the house in order to catch any paranormal activity. Don't y'all just love how we're only at the beginning of the second video with another 19 minutes to go? We're doing pretty good. We in here, baby. He also has an alert on his phone that lets him know if motion is detected anywhere in the house. That was some motion for you right the door there. seems to close entirely on its own. And it closed perfectly like somebody did it or something did it. What makes this even creepier is that there's some speculation 
that the previous owner may have actually passed away in this very washroom. Yo, what's going on with this phone? Why is it bleaking like that? Now the man wakes up due to the motion alert and goes checking. But what he did... Gia, you better listen to your mama girl. Yeah, she watching your boy live. All the kicks in the middle, we here. In real life. And I'm watching you. Is that he might actually not have been alone in the bathroom. Who's that creeping through your window? We can see an apparition through the see-through door. And when the man takes a peek, there's no one there. I'm like, he just so conveniently walked up in here after that thing went away and he's recording on his phone. So I'm assuming with this camera that's set up here that's showing this whole um, laundry room that he saw something on camera. So it made him go there with his phone so that he can record it. It has to be the case. Because why else would he have walked in with his phone recording if he didn't know there was going to already be something for him to record? That has to be the case. Why this man got a cap on in the house like this and a whole face mask? You wear a face mask at the house by yourself? That's different. You trying not to catch your own curb hurt? Trying not to give yourself the Rona? Could it be that the former owner was actually visiting him that night? Or what else could this have been? You got a face mask over your face, but yet you ain't got no socks on your feet? Now what sense does that make? The following videos were recorded and shared by TikTok user Paranormal Adventures Zero. Not much is known about the backstory of this particular haunting. However, the couple started sharing some intriguing and pretty spooky clips that their security cameras, which are mounted in their home, have recorded. Paranormal sightings seem to be pretty regular for them, though and the following snapshots captured by the camera in the living room started it all. Now who that big bald headed fool is in your house? It appeared that the figure was captured and it wasn't any of them. I don't know if that's a figure. That look like more like intruders. They rob you. They also captured this thing looking out of the door. Oh, heck no, no. <laughs> No, I'm moving. I am moving. You can have this place, whoever or whatever you are. This is yours to own. No. Just terrifying. One day, the camera in their bedroom fell, and they noticed a weird shadow standing in the corner. and another shadow sighting that was not accounted for, captured by another camera in the hallway. Strange to say the least. The most terrifying event up until now was the following, however. It was recorded while the two were already in bed. Yo, what the freak? Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's that same big ball headed fool. A shadow figure seems to be appearing right in front of their bed and moving its unnatural shaped head. What do you think is haunting this couple? And where does it come from? I think they might be. be oh, snap. They might be, they might be getting haunted by m multiple entities, because one of them was a female. Then by Mike, and it was uploaded on the channel Fourth Wall. 
It features a young tourist who was taking a nice vacation. The day of this recording, he traveled to Mount Bentenyama, which is kind of a local tourist attraction, but not for the reasons you might think. It is said that the area is pretty much abandoned for the most part. A long time ago, there were many buildings in this area, which were all occupied. And many legends tell of spirits of the past that still can be found in these buildings, and ever so often they appear in photos and videos that people take. So you probably have guessed. Rita, I know. I, I've actually spoken about it before, yeah. They can't show their face and stuff on camera. They gotta protect their identity, so. That's definitely why he had a cap on his head and the face mask on in the house by himself that the tourist that recorded all of this actually was a ghost tourist. I it makes it a whole lot easier to w just wear a cap and face mask than to edit it out in post. Post and hope to record something creepy that night. Nothing interesting popped up on screen while he was there and it was only after he returned back to the hotel and he vetted his footage. That you know something else I want to do on Patreon, you guys? I want to read off some of the ghost stories that you all send me in. Email me at the AOK Talks, your ghost stories, and I will read them on Patreon. Notice something appeared to be off. Bruh, it's taking you forever to get up these stairs, man. It's too many stairs. It's too many stairs. Are you out here to get an exercise or are you looking for paranormal activity? Either way, you're getting both. I'd rather walk on the side over there. So I won't have to step on the no, stair. Is anything strange? Look again. No, I did not. I'm looking. I've been looking. I'm looking again. And again and again. Still didn't see it. Oh, what's that over there? In the distance. Step, don't see it. Can't make it out. Stop moving. Oh, it's like a little face in the face. Okay, I can see it a little bit. It looks out of place, that face. It's That's because it is. That's that's because it is. It's out of place. That face is out of place. Hmm. Tell me that don't look like a little girl from like the 18th century. It look like they just put her face there. I could be wrong. Was our uploader able to record the face of a former resident? It certainly looks pretty eerie. And I have to say, it was really hard to make out in the woods. Could it be paradoia or something else, which just makes it look like a real face? It's a possibility, but dang, that's some solid paradolia if it is, because that looks like a face. I can see the split in her hair, eyes, nose, mouth, facial jaw structure. I can see it. So this isn't where things end. It looks like a female, too. It's like a male bee. I mean, female. What's that over there? What's that over there? Huh? Huh? Uh, here we go again. They, they, they keep just placing stuff there, man. Take a good look at that now. What is Could that? It be that another apparition is standing between two trees here, possibly with bluish clothing on. Or is this something more explainable? What do you think? It's the Grim Reaper. But, yet again, that wasn't all. Y'all, we did it. We hit 500 likes. Y'all think y'all can keep it going, though? We still got about 12, 13 more minutes left to this video. Is it possible to get 600 out of 800 of you guys? I think we can do it. Hit that like button. I know you got one near you. And hit it after the live stream for those of you who watch after. Or come back to watch the rest. See, man, look. This is why you should have never went there in the first place. You had a ghost to your left, a ghost to your right. Now you got one waiting at the top of these long staircases for you. You might want to go back the way you came. That's what I would do. 
I'm not trying to meet this fool at the top of the stick. The sk- the st- I can't even say it. The stairs. I might boo boo on myself when I get up there. Just anticipating this thing jump out at me. I couldn't. I couldn't finish. Couldn't take another step. I'm going in the opposite direction. That thing is transparent. I don't mess with the transparent Something people. Is walking by at the top of this. I do not mess with the transparent people. Stairs. And since nobody was up there, at least to the man's knowledge, it leaves us with another mystery. Was it a semi-transparent apparition that he could capture here? Yep. All of this is, of course, just speculation. But these are pretty creepy encounters. Whatever it all was in the end. What an intriguing old mountain. Oh, Ouija. Ouija. Michael and Heather are a couple that like to tamper with the paranormal forces. You ain't have to tell me that. I can tell just by looking at them. He said they're a couple that like to tamper with the paranormal forces. Duh. Look, look at me. Look at them. <laughs> they dabble in the paranormal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we do too. So, hey, is this all good? They stream some of their Ouija sessions to their viewership. And ever so often, some really interesting events are unfolding. But lately, as one would expect... I mean, who am I to judge? My birthday is literally on Halloween. <laughs> Paranormal over here. These forces seem to make it into their house, even if they are not playing with the Ouija board. As we know, playing with a board opens up a door that oftentimes can't be closed easily again. Exactly. That's why you leave doors closed, especially if you don't want... These fools do be wanting something to come out of it. I mean, I swear. That's why they dang on open the door in the first place. You don't look. If you ever see Arctic Kicks playing with a Ouija board, just understand something very clear and simple. Simple. It's simple understanding. I have lost my mind. They clearly have lost their mind. Hello? You about to be goodbye. Look, it Hello? done it done destroyed your room. Whatever's in there. Oh, that was that was probably y'all. Y'all filthy. Clean up. He didn't say nothing about it, so it had to be dumb. Yep, doors opening. Not a good sign, my guy. You really gonna walk in the room and not look behind the door first? You lost your mind, I knew it. Hello? How you didn't look behind the door first? Oh. Y'all don't understand. You saw that thing opening. You're giving me anxiety. You better run. Yet they decide. I remember these fools now. Watch this mess here. They they about to get what they deserve. Either to proceed with their live witchy sessions. On a side note, never take off your hands off the planchette without ending the session first. Oh, oh so that's how you do it. Shit. Can't tell me not to take off my hands without ending the session first. What if the dang on ghost spirit spooky poo thing come out and try to get me before we end it? Oh, I'm taking my hands off, all right. <laughs> I ain't gonna put them back on because the spirit's in the room. I gotta go. I'm not take my hands off. I ain't gonna put my hands on in the first place. I tell you that. I ain't even gonna be in the same room with people messing with this. <laughs> You didn't do it right. You, you didn't. You didn't do it right. That told you. You both gotta have your hands you on it. Imagine it didn't end there. The following night. Y'all, y'all go. Oh, goodbye, 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 goodbye. No, you gotta put your hands on it, fool. You put your hands on it to open it up, to wake it up. You gotta put your hands on it to close the door too. Like that's like looking at a door and telling it to close. To close. No. Yeah, put your hands on it. They heard some disturbance from outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Who's there? Evelyn. That's, that's, that's major. 25. Goodness gracious. Shout out to y'all. Did the poltergeist open all their cupboards? Or were they open previously without showing us? 
Happy so birthday, yes, night train. More, around 2 a.m. An intruder seems Happy to start ringing their birthday. doorbell. Happy birthday. Uh oh, we got a new addition into the world. Shout out to Candy Girl's sister. She bought she bought new life into this, this Nobody beautiful world of ours. Nobody can outside their house. Strange. It seems that to this day, they wish that baby nothing but greatness and good health. They have several security cameras mounted in their home to capture all the Happy. activity. Even their pets are starting to get freaked out. Let's see how this case develops in the future. Was that a bunny rabbit? Even their pets are starting to get freaked out. Oh, no, that was a kitty Let's cat. see how this case develops in the future. Yo, that cat was like, yo, what the freak? That cat, was, that cat was trying so hard to get out, but that floor was so slippery. He could only go so far so fast. Noel, if you send me a Ouija board, I will send it back. Now we are looking at a recording from user Dino hey. Barodero, who has shared this short clip on Reddit. Thank you for the donation, though. Big Bubba! But freaked out when they saw something a bit odd one night. To be honest, it scared them even, and they hoped that people on the internet could help them figuring out what transpired that night. Daryl tells us that he was driving around with his sister that night. It was pretty late already, and they were technically on the way back home. On the way there, they were driving by one particular old house. They saw a transparent and flickering object on the roof, and it looked like it had legs which were dangling off the edge. They drove by a second time to film it. This is what they could capture. Y'all, we still got eight more minutes. Keep them likes coming, big baby. We got 608 in likes. I bet y'all can't do 700 by the end of live stream. I bet you can't. With eight minutes to spare. What's this? That house look creepy. What is what you, what you see? I ain't see nothing on this potato 99. What do you see? Oh, oh, somebody. Somebody sitting on the look. Oh, they about to jump. That ain't nothing to worry about. That's just some teenager about to sneak out the house. Trying to trying not let their parents catch them because they about to go down to their little boyfriend or slash girlfriend house down the street a few blocks away. They trying not to get caught. But sneak out. You know what they about to do. Nasty. The recording is not the best. And while we see a blurry shape up there, it's basically impossible to say what exactly it's supposed to be. It's, it's, a, it's a teenager being a little re rebellious. That's all that was. Moments range from it simply being a bat to a real person. Or, as the two suspected, even an apparition. Can you agree with that? Another user said that it probably is just some old Christmas decoration. But they drove by the next morning to show that this is not the case. Duh, of course it ain't still sitting there. The child gonna get caught by the parents or by a neighbor. No, the child jumped down. They went and had their little fun with their little boyfriend, girlfriend. Or maybe they were just hanging out at their friend's house or whatever, watching a scary movie. And then they came back. That's, that's that. That's all. It's all good. See, this is why I look. When I get kids, they ain't never going to be able to sneak out the house. Because <laughs> I'm going to be getting up in the middle of the night checking on them every single night. Just like my mama did me. She did. I promise you. Two, two, three times out of the night, my mama checked on me <laughs> every single night. I couldn't go nowhere. I was very sheltered. <laughs> so, a paranormal capture or something completely different? And my dang old bedroom window was on a freaking box. I was in the dope. What am I talking about? Now we want to take a look at the team of Forgotten Soul Investigations. Kirk and Forrest Rogers went to the Hillsbury Old Ice House in Ohio, which is home to many ghost stories. Built in the year 1900, there's an endless amount of documented sightings and encounters that took place there. As Kirk and Forrest slowly settle in and get their spirit box ready, some interesting activity is starting to unfold.
After getting the first responses, they take a quick peek into the bathroom. This is when something creepy is being captured. As you should, Deshana. Deshana, as you should. People say that they can see an apparition standing there. I, I call pareidolia. And possibly looking at us. It appears to be an elderly person. How is that possible? Could it be that a spirit from another time? An elderly person? How? You can't say that. I miss remaining here. I ain't, that look like a hole in the wall to me. Here. Possibly contacting the two men. You see what I'm saying? This look like. Oh, hold on. Where's the mouse? This look like a window fixture of some sort, like a um, I don't know. And this looks like pieces and parts of the wall, just torn out, and just look messed up. Like somebody came and was trying to tear this wall down and gave up. What do you think? Did it respond to them on the spirit box? Evelyn, hey, shout out to you. Thank you for the dono, Sasha. Welcome, new channel member. Theories. Definitely a haunted place in my book. Hey, Char, you say that now, but how old is the little brat? Now I'm just playing. How old is your son? Because, um... Yeah, if he don't, if he ain't discovered women yet, I mean girls, <laughs> you think you trust them? Check this out. So one of my employees found this emergency door wide open. When I reviewed the footage, I saw the following happening. Take a good look. There's clearly something happening once the door is open. It was an old CCTV system, and we never got an HD system until like last year. You see it? I remember this. You see something come in too. Burnwood. Well, what do you guys think? There's clearly something opening the door, and then this transparent shadowy thing appears. It's a little dark object that is visible at knee height. Of course, you can't be absolutely sure that it wasn't simply artifacts caused by the camera. You already know, Christian. I actually got a new text receipt video coming to the second channel tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. I think. I don't know. I haven't read it yet. They're, all, they're always good. The next video was sent by Antonio S. and was initially captured and shared by a channel, The Ball Family Vlogs. In this video, the young woman was documenting the upcoming remodeling process in her family home. After rewatching the recording, however, she noticed that there seemed to be something on the stairs that wasn't supposed to be there. She states, My mom and I have had strange things happen to us in this house. I was just walking around the house and when I go back to look at the video, it looks as if there's something standing on the stairs. I need some remodeling done to it. Oh yeah, we're doing it, we're doing it. We're close to 700 likes with 665 and two minutes and 26 seconds to spare. I think we can hit it. That'd be crazy. And there's just an extra storage workshop area. Our dog is back there right now because he's a little sick. I'm gonna turn to the bed. Something on your staircase late day. That 
That's there. That was there. Whatever that Could this was. Could be an apparition that was caught looking it's at there. her that day. What do you think? What up, Martin? I'm at Martina. I'm sorry. Six eighty four. We getting close, y'all. We getting close. The following is another really creepy record. Oh yeah, I remember this. This was good. Which was sent to me by Brian, and which features another of these bone chilling Japanese video clips. It was recorded by a young man who saw a strange woman sneaking around in front of their house close to the fields. His idea was to see what she was up to and to possibly confront her about this strange behavior. He follows her, only to lose her for a yeah. moment. He walks around for a while, and it got dark in the meantime. He was looking for her for a real long time. After hearing some noises that sound pretty similar to his cell phone, the following unfolds. Something coming. There she go. She gonna get you, boy. The creepy woman with a distorted face runs towards him on all four limbs and simply disappears. Terrifying. Again, probably just a film project, but a real good... They sped that up to make it look scary. It's bumpy one. Ah, no jump scare, Char. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> we made it to the end of the live stream with 700 likes. You know what? Channel members only live stream. We done did two videos. We've been here for an, over an hour. But I need y'all to comment right now. One more video. One more video, y'all. Comment one more video. We'll do another one for the channel members. This is a special kind of night, big baby. It's a special kind of night. Flood it, flood it, flood it. I need all of y'all to comment one more video. And hit that like button while you at it. Yeah. Yeah. Do no, it. Let's go. Let me see. In the meantime, in between time, let me find that video. What is the bald headed man got talking about? Let's let's find. How you doing? I'm Callan, this is slapped ham. Alan, and this is slapped ham. What? Now today we've got something a little bit special for you. It's some bonus content for the week. All right. We got legend on the screen right now. We got slapping ham. You see how long this video is? It's an hour and eighteen minutes long. We've been here for an hour and twelve minutes. I hope y'all can stay up, cause we're about to be up. For a little bit longer. One more video, baby. Let's go. Y'all ready? Y'all, this one is titled, These Scary Videos Will Freak You Out. I'm ready to get freaked out. Y'all ready? Let's go. It's a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going round. You heard that? You heard that? He said this is a massive compilation of some of the scariest video clips going around. There's, there's going to be some old in here, I'm sure. But hopefully there's some new. Let's go. But sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Is it possible to conjure up ghosts simply with our minds? Heck yeah. That was the question asked by a group of individuals from the Toronto Society of Psychical Research in the early 1970s. They did it, didn't they? None of the members of the group were gifted with any supposed psychic or spiritual powers. Still, they were curious to see if they could conjure up a ghost by simply using their collective imagination and visualization. Lead researcher Dr. A.R. George Owen believed that ghosts were merely an illusion created by the mind, if the mind truly believed it to be so. Pareidolia at its finest. If your mind truly believes something to be so, your mind will see it as so. That's why a, a group of people can see a ghost in the corner and it don't even really be there. 
because they all wanted to believe. To test Dr. Owen's theory, the group created a fictitious spirit named Philip. Philip was given a complete biography by the group, from his birth to his unfortunate death by suicide at the age of 30. The spirit was born in the 1620s in England and was a knighted member of the military. I like that y'all comment a, a hand slap with a with a pig for slap ham. I need y'all to spam that. One day he met and fell in love with a gypsy girl beginning an affair with her. His wife discovered the affair and burned the girl at the stake. As a result, Philip ended his life driven to death by sorrow. For the experiment, the group was seated around a table discussing Philip as well as visualizing him and his life. For months, absolutely nothing occurred, though some group members swear that they could feel another presence among them. After a few months, the group decided to switch up the experiment by incorporating a more traditional seance scene, dimming the lights around them and placing their hands on a table. I wonder if, is, if it's possible that there is a spirit named Philip or whatever they said his name was, instead of them making a fictitious, a fictitious spirit, but there actually was one, and that's who they conjured up. That would actually make for a really good movie. If you got the same story of these group of people that made up this character in their mind, this spirit in their mind, they went through these actual rituals and stuff that they did, but they actually brought forth the actual spirit that had that same name, that would, that, that would make for a good movie, I think. Y'all, we got two new channel members. Let me shout them out before we get this video going again. Real quick, we got Alex. Shout out to you. Thank you. And Mr. Love, shout out to you. Thank you, Big Brother. Big Brother. And Wendy, shout out to you. For the five dollar donor, Big Baby. In doing so, they hoped that Philip would speak to them by either knocking on or rotating the table. Only when they changed the experiment up did they finally find some success. They asked Philip questions about his life and the supposed spirit began to interact with the group. Slap ham, big baby. Y'all gotta do that for every live stream now. Slap with a ham. There was rapping on. Only when we're playing slap ham though. Vibrations of the table as well as unexplained echoes and sudden gusts of air felt by the group. That's dope. At one point, the table the group was sitting at levitated and moved across the room of its own accord. Ooh. Spooky. The experiment began to be filmed and at one point there was a live taping of the group done in front of an audience of 50 people. A video on YouTube gives glimpses into the experiment, including snippets of the actual paranormal activity. Look at this, y'all. In the video uploaded by History vs. Hollywood on YouTube, viewers can see the group seated around the table, hands out, asking Philip questions. This was live. You know what it could actually be too? It could also be that it wasn't Philip, but it was a spirit or entity, and they were just proclaiming they were that they were Philip. They were the one that just answered the call, and he's messing with these people. At one point, a rapping sound can be heard in response to a question. Following this, the table shakes and seems to lift off the ground. The video cuts to another clip with the group standing up with their hands on the table, singing. Suddenly, the table completely tilts to the left, falling on its side. Dr. Owen's wife, Iris Owen, explains that the group was very surprised when they first heard the knocking. The video then cuts to an interview with psychologist Dr. Joel Witten, who theorizes that the paranormal occurrences happen due to the collective belief and concentrated energy of the group. Woo! For him to realize something like that back then, it just goes to show you there were some real forward-thinking people even way back when. I mean, obviously, we, we are what we are now because of who those people were then. But, you know, he, he came to that conclusion. He was like, this was a collective group of people that were choosing to believe something. And because they chose to believe something, what they believe is what they experience. It's just like when I tell you 
about emotions and how whatever thought or idea you give emotion is the one that becomes your reality. They gave this thought and idea emotion. And that's why it became their reality. One of those peoples on that table had their thumbs out. And even though it looked like they're barely touching the table, he was using them thumbs to flip that table over. The group is involved in a, a joint feeling of mutuality. Each member almost intuitively senses the other person and their feelings. Yeah. Yep, that's a combination of um, empathy or empaths. Empath spirit, empath energy working. Is it some type of concentration of energy? The Philip experiment was met with both awe and criticism in its day. The main criticism lay in the fact that the experiment didn't have any control factors, as usually found in scientific experiments. Correct. No control factors. What does that mean? There's no one that's really there to examine what's happening to these people. Additionally, the scientific community remains hesitant to call seances trustworthy. Right. There have been other groups who have tried to replicate the experiment, though usually to no avail. Of course not. You know why? You know why there's been groups that wasn't able to replicate this? Because those groups, they probably didn't collectively believe just in the way that these folks here did. There was probably some skeptics amongst that group. And if that is the case, then it's not going to work. Everyone has to believe in the same thing. The Philip experiment may be just one mystery left unsolved. I know that's right, Nikki. I want to believe. I won the lottery too. What you saying, baby girl? I want to look. In April, what? 7.3 magnitude earthquake hit Fukuoka, a city located in northern Kyushu Island, Japan. I would think an earthquake would hit this, man. This is like a little, little thin little strip of land. Just this boom. And while the earthquake caused plenty of damage itself, it was what happened shortly after that left many residents scratching their heads. 90 miles from the epicenter of the earthquake appeared a thick foam that covered the streets. Really? Residents walked and drove over the foam but had no idea where it emerged from. Really? That's crazy. They don't know where this foam came from, but it happened after the earthquake. The earth does some very mysterious things, man. In some places, the mysterious foam was knee high, making it hard to wade through. Other residents refused to leave their houses in fear of what the foam could be. I was thinking the same thing. Had it been me, I'm not touching this foam. Ain't no telling what it is. You touch it and your skin melt off. Or touch it or inhale it, consume it. However, even if it's just through um, seeking it to the pores of your skin, it could cause some serious harm or damage to you. You don't know. Don't play with it. Local first responders and authority figures tried to theorize where exactly the foam came from. I would stay in the house until I heard that on the news they say, hey, we got some scientists out here. They've taken samples. They examined it. They determined that all it is is some sea foam. Okay, cool. I'm out. Some believe the foam could have been derived from a busted pipe under the streets, though no cracks could be found in the streets which the foam could have leaked through. Others thought the foam could be from a firefighter's hose, though no foam was found in the hoses either. And the sheer size and breadth of which the foam covered made no sense either. Still today, the foam remains a complete mystery with no explanation given. What do you think this foam could be? I'll have to get your thoughts on this strange mystery in the comment section below. Sasha, thank you for the support, sweetheart. I appreciate it. To this day, 80% of the ocean remains unexplored by mankind. This has left plenty of room for speculations and theories as to what mysteries are in the deep blue. Like, like mermans and mermaids? I believe it. I believe they're down there. 80% of the ocean has yet to be discovered by man. Come on. Mermaids and mermans, they gotta be hiding. Just waiting to be discovered. One of these mysteries became known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly. In 2011, the Swedish diving team named Ocean X came across an abnormal sonar image, leading to a baffling discovery. I remember this. Years ago, I've seen this. A sunken object that strikingly resembled a craft of some kind. 
freaking alien spacecraft crash landed. The object there. quickly became known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, as it was discovered in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland. Imagine that though. What if that is true? Like a spaceship crash lands in the ocean years and years, hundreds if not millions of years ago. The diving team described the object as having what looked to be man-made formations, including ramps and stairways. Scientists quickly began to come up with ideas to explain the strange object, including the idea that it was a geological formation created over thousands of years, possibly since the Ice Age. I don't know, I feel like this is... This isn't just done by earth <laughs> by nature this looks like it was man-made or extraterrestrial made samples taken from the object and examined by scientists concluded that the structure is made mostly of granites gneisses and sandstone it's man-made the object's discovery led to some controversy as the tabloids began to create sci-fi fantasies of what this looks like what it could be under there that looks dope that's a dope image the object could be these fantasies included everything from being a flying saucer to the Millennium Falcon. Right. Scientists around the world were adamant that this was nothing more than a simple rock formation blown out of proportion. I the Ocean that. X diving team also eventually came under fire as they offered to take wealthy tourists down to the sea floor to see the object for themselves. That can't be safe. How far down is this thing? The team also claimed that they were never able to capture a good photo of the object due to technical difficulties. That's weird, but y'all was able to collect samples to determine that it was just simply granite. Many believe the group have exaggerated what the anomaly really looks like in order to gain notoriety. That's how I feel. I feel like this might be an altered image or a fake image, while this is more so of what it actually looked like, it, which actually looked like it could be if you look right behind me, it looked like it could be done that way through just years of being beaten up by nature. Could this be the case? Or has the mystery object blended in just well enough to escape deeper discovery? I don't know. Over the years, there have been countless supposed alien sightings with one of the most prominent occurring in early 1800s Japan. Whether it's simply a Japanese legend or a real recorded experience remains up for debate to this day. The event took place in 1803 in the Hitachi province of eastern Japan. Mm. A group of fishermen on the region's coast noticed a large ship drifting alone in the waters. Mm. Curious, the group towed the boat to shore to inspect it. The large boat resembled a wooden rice pit, with the upper half of the ship constructed of rosewood and the lower half of brazen plates. The strange ship was said to have windows made of crystal lined by an unknown resin. The fishermen decided to look inside the ship, where they saw inscriptions written in an unknown language. Suddenly, they came across a peculiar figure. A beautiful woman somewhere between the ages of 18 and 20, mm. with very pale pinkish skin, striking red hair. She was donning clothes that were unrecognisable to the group of Japanese fishermen. Furthermore, she spoke a language the group couldn't understand and held a box in her hand that she wouldn't let others go near. The villagers began to speculate as to who this woman could be, with one villager theorising that the woman was a prominent figure in her homeland, where I think we've seen this before. He further speculated that she was cast away from her homeland after engaging in adultery, and inside the box that she so desperately protected was the head of her deceased lover. Uh oh. The other villagers became terrified and decided to send the woman back to her boat so she could drift away. Wow. This same story was recounted in three different texts over the years, with each text following the same themes of a strange boat that looked nothing like regular boats of the period, as well as a beautiful woman holding a mysterious box close to her. Mm. Plenty of Japanese and international researchers have tried to find an explanation for this story. Some believe that the drawings that accompanied the story portrayed what a typical Russian woman might have looked like at the time, including the description of her hair and skin. 
Still, plenty of other individuals, including ufologists, believe the incident was an encounter with an alien species, and mm. the boat was an unidentified craft of some kind. Interesting. However, many Japanese individuals believe this story is simply a myth, created in olden times to add to Japanese folklore. One million dollars to demonstrate You're welcome, Heather. ...all activity. Talk about a good deal. While this isn't a mystery as such, it's well worth taking a look at. The one million dollar paranormal challenge was initiated by the James Randi Educational Foundation in 1964 to any applicant who could perform paranormal or supernatural activity beyond a reasonable doubt. Over 1,000 people applied and every single one failed. James Randi, a prominent stage magician, believed that there was absolutely nothing magical about magic. It was simply a well-planned and put-together illusion. Of course. Of course. Well-planned, put-together illusions. There you go. You got a world-renowned, famous magician, performer, letting you know, huh, magic ain't real magic. But I don't know. Have you seen AGT, America Got Talent? Some of them people be coming over there doing some stuff that I'm like, okay, how, 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 how did y'all not get caught? You got thousands of people in the audience and nobody saw that. You got the judges right there in the, in the front of you staring hard and nobody saw that. Upon hearing this claim, a they be doing real magic. Parapsychologist challenged him to put money up against any potential paranormal challenger. Randy initially agreed to give out a thousand dollar prize, but as the challenge grew in popularity, other organizations and individuals decided to join in on the fun, raising funds up to one million US dollars. That's crazy. You, with inflation, you know how much that is now? That's probably like four million, five million dollars in value for back then. Gotta be four or five million dollars now. That was 1964. That was the year my mom was born. Until the challenge's discontinuation in 2015, applicants attempted to demonstrate many different kinds of skills and abilities. Wait, so you're trying to tell me this carried on until 2015? People were trying to exhibit that they had some paranormal abilities and nobody was, for that many years, nobody was able to, what does that tell y'all? There's a whole lot of cap out here. Cavity. Cap, cap, cap. Abilities, including medical dowsing, mediumship, and the use of performance enhancing bracelets. One prominent psychic, Sylvia Brown, was challenged live on air by famous broadcaster and journalist Larry King to take the test. Brown accepted. On September 3rd, 2001, Brown and Randy appeared on Larry King Live once more, but Brown refused to take the test. Afterwards, Randy posted a timer on his website that recorded the number of days and weeks that had passed since Brown accepted the test but failed to follow through. A martial arts group based in Bali, Indonesia, known as Yellow Bamboo, claim one of their members, Pak Nyom Man Serengan, can knock down approaching attackers from a distance using only a piece of yellow bamboo. Sketchy, low-resolution videos were posted to the group's website. Oh, I remember this back in the day. Yeah, this was his claim. Okay, watch this. Knowing the alleged abilities. Here's some footage of the group. If that wasn't the biggest cap, I remember laughing at this years ago. I was like, are y'all, y'all stupid. Y'all really want us to believe that this man knocked all them folks down using powers. No. They ran up on him and chose a spot that all of them were going to collapse at at the exact same time. That's what we saw. Come on. These, they were watching too much Dragon Ball Z back then. Practices uploaded to YouTube by I... Look at, the, look at them. They look worse than soccer players when they out there. They go freaking falling out and pretending like they got hurt so they can get a card thrown at the other team. ET 4C 0 That's what they doing. Extra. They is trying too hard to convince us. The cap is on 1,000. I'm going to let, let y'all see all that cap again. Look at this. To the group's website. He's like, 
I'm about to knock them down. I, I, I wonder if he's stupid enough to believe that he actually did it, too. God, he's like, I'm about to get them. They're about to, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. By showing the alleged abilities. Here's some footage of the group's practices uploaded to YouTube by IET4C0S. Participants run at a practitioner who shouts and pushes them to the ground, allegedly by some sort of invisible. Look at this woman right here. She really thinks she got some powers, y'all. Y'all gonna make me turn this video off right now. Go in the live stream. Look at look how cheesed this woman is. This woman went home after going out on this dang on little little journey or whatever. She trying to become a monk or whatever the heck she was doing. She went home. I remember watching this back in the day. This woman went home to her husband and kids. And when they got on that on her nerves, she was like, ah! Nah! Nah! Why you not falling? She was very upset that she got scammed out of all her money. Oh, she was like, I, I don't understand. They were falling like left and right when I was there, but now no one falls for me. Cause your dumb ass fell for that trick. Volunteers working with the James Randy. Don't don't be mad at me, but this is what I thought back then. I was like, look at these ignorant white folks. They got food. They got scammed out of their money by a bunch of fake monks. Educate. How you gonna be a monk and have a long ponytail? National Foundation agreed to travel to Bali and conduct initial testing on these abilities. However, the Yellow Bamboo Group began making excuses as to why they couldn't participate. <laughs> Cause they fake. Cause they cap. Oh, whoa, whoa! Y'all want to come and do some experiments to make sure that what we're saying and doing is real? Oh yeah, we can't. Everybody hurt their back because we was everybody was falling. We we they hurt their back so. They can't demonstrate again the powers of the which your wife, which your why we can, we can't do it no more because we all we all all of our we gotta go to chiropractors now cause, so maybe maybe next year. Eventually, James Randy called the whole experiment off. Out of the hundreds of applicants applying for the fund, none of the experiments were successful. Though some critics disagreed with the sincerity of Randy's challenge as the measurements of proving something was real without a doubt is hard to define. Oh, don't give me that crap. The measurements of proving that something is real without a doubt is hard to define. Is it though? If you and I were to see each other in public, walk up to each other, shake each other's hand, hug each other, have a conversation, I think that I can prove that that is real without a doubt. That that happened. And that was an experience that you and I both shared. Because that would be a memory. We can have evidence. We can record it. Take pictures. Show it to the world. We can get other people involved. It would be real without a doubt. But something like this, I think you can determine... If it's real without a doubt, especially if it's happening right there in front of you. Still, the challenge was popular and remains a hot topic of conversation for paranormal fans around the world. You better not show up trying to win a million dollars and you gonna bend a spoon with your mind. They already know that trick. <laughs> Tina Resch's story seems too bizarre to be true, though sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. Tina's story starts in October of 1969. Just a few months after she was born, her mother brought her to the hospital and left her there, abandoning her. She was there and adopted by Joan and John Resch, who were physically abusive to her during her childhood. When she was 14, Tina watched the horror film The Poltergeist and the alleged paranormal activity that would follow her for the rest of her life began. Mm. Shortly after watching the film, strange events started happening when Tina was near. That's crazy because back then, I remember there was a documentary 
um, on the Poltergeist movie, that one, right? And it was so fascinating to watch because so much of it was geared around the fact that there was actual paranormal activity that was occurring on that set, on the set of that movie. Um, there was like a scene, I think, where they were going through a river or some water or a lake or something. I can't remember correctly. It's been a very long time since I've seen that movie. And there were skeletons in the water. Come to find out, I think majority of the skeletons used in that movie, the props, were actual real skeletons. They said that there was plenty of paranormal activity on set. They said that there was paranormal activity when people were to watch the movie. People was experiencing paranormal. It was an interesting documentary. These included flying objects around the house and things falling down from the walls. Parapsychologist William Roll decided to investigate the case and stayed in the Resch's house. Roll claimed that there were indeed telekinesis events in the house, but never when Roll was actually looking at the objects in question. Reporter Mike Harden and photographer Fred Shannon were also given access to the Resch household. I'm tripping out that we still have over an hour left in this video. How? But like, we're going to be here so long. Roll didn't see any paranormal activity until they looked away. Shannon attempted to take a picture with his camera while looking in a different direction and managed to capture one photo of the house telephone flying across Tina's lap. Or Tina just tossing the phone across her lap. I mean, her hand is in a tossing motion. I'm just saying. Yeah, the pool Still in the backyard. Many... That's what it was, the pool in the backyard. Speculated that Tina was able to manipulate the objects while others were looking away. Pro Poss possibility. Probably because she was a young girl who craved attention. <laughs> Subsequently, a video camera caught Tina knocking over a table lamp and screaming as if it happened in front of her. You confirming see? many individuals' doubts about the paranormal activity. See, the cap is real. However, Tina Resch's story only gets stranger. As an adult, Tina was married and divorced twice and had one child. Okay. At age three, Tina's child died. Both Tina and her then boyfriend were arrested and charged for murder. What? Though Tina wasn't present when her daughter died. Still, Tina received a life sentence plus 20 years and remains in prison to this day. Okay, um... Both her and her boyfriend were arrested for the death of the child. But Tina wasn't there when it happened, but yet she still received life in prison. They must they must view her as an accomplice of some sort. Deserving of life in prison. Because she had something to do with it, possibly. Tina didn't mention telekinetic activity during her trial. Though, perhaps, such a tragic finale to such a bizarre life is no big surprise. Correct. Eerie screaming in the dead of night. It's a situation most of us have nightmares about at one point or another, but Correct. never really expect to actually experience in real life. For one Reddit user in Switzerland, Stix Zardinia, this terrifying situation became a reality during a stroll in the dark one unlucky evening. Nah. In the video, we see the ground where the camera operator is walking, a flashlight illuminating the path. A couple of seconds into the clip, we can already hear ear-piercing screams in the distance. The sounds continue to shriek as the camera operator walks forward. This fool is a fool. You think I'm about to be walking out there hearing all them? It sounds like freaking, it sounds like hell out there. It sounds like the underworld out there with all that screaming and torture and pain. And they're just casually walking. Do, 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 do. The cameraman lifts the camera up where we can see the continued dark wooded path. Shortly after, the clip ends and the screams fade away and stop.
The Reddit user included a disclaimer with the upload of the video, saying that the screams couldn't be from foxes, as the surrounding forest is allegedly fox-free. Still, most other Reddit users believe that the screams were that of animals, including the possibility of birds, coyotes or bobcats. Some users noted that the way the camera operator walks casually suggests it probably wasn't the scream of children, or else he would have had a greater sense of urgency in his movements. Regardless, this video remains hotly debated and a potentially true nightmare come to life. I was going to put it on a bunch of kids, teenagers, young adults as having a good time playing in the water or pool or something. But no, the, the screams are too consistent with danger. <laughs> For most, a home means shelter and rest from the outside world, a place where we can fully relax from our pending responsibilities. This is not the case for YouTuber Savia L, an apartment renter in the Netherlands. Her home recently became a place where relaxing has become downright impossible. Instead, all she feels is terror. The first video the YouTuber shared to the site shows several instances of possible paranormal activity. In the clip, Sabia L shows us her kitchen before moving to her living room. Suddenly, there's a banging sound and the YouTuber pans the camera up. We can see the ceiling lamp eerily swinging back and forth all on its own. Soon after, the kitchen lights begin to flicker on and off. The YouTuber slowly walks back into the kitchen and we can now see that all the cupboards and drawer doors have been opened. She then leaves the kitchen walking back towards the living room. Yeah, I There's remember another banging sound from the kitchen. Yeah, I remember this clip, right? We're around. This is where something truly eerie is caught on camera. Take a look. Thank y'all for the 800 likes. We're almost at 900. If we take another look, you can see a terrifying black shadow peeking out from behind the kitchen entrance. Hey, yo, that black shadow had a shadow. That's crazy. In the second video, we're back in the YouTubers. I ain't never seen a shadow have a shadow. Living room. For the first 30 seconds or so, nothing out of the ordinary happens. Until suddenly, the ceiling line begins to swing. Thirty seconds after this, the curtains in the living room begin to move all on their own. Moments later, the YouTuber turns the camera to the kitchen. Watch what happens. The heck was that that flew out of there? As you can see, a bottle is suddenly thrown into the living room. The uploader walks straight into the kitchen, but there's no one there. Oh, that was thrown out of the kitchen. It's a strong possibility that there was a cut in this footage. And it could have happened right when the light turned on in the kitchen. You walk towards a completely pitch black doorway. Completely thrown into the living room. You walk toward a completely pitch black kitchen. As soon as you hit the light, woof, I, I, there was a cut there. There was a cut there because she went, she was further in the kitchen than she should have been when the cut happened. I'm, I'm telling you, the light switch is right here, I'm assuming, or maybe it's in the inside, but still, you see that she's further away. You see, you can't tell me there wasn't a cut there cut to there not being anyone in the kitchen when there was someone in the kitchen look at that there she was too far away 
she hadn't even gotten close enough to hit the light switch yet. Right here. Boom, you see? She hadn't even got close enough. It's right here. She needed a couple of more stair steps. Woof. And look how far she's into the kitchen. The uploader walks straight into the kitchen, but there's no one there. She walks around making sure the doors to the apartment are locked, proving no one could have snuck in or out during the clip. My head itches. The videos That's have been doing. viewed by thousands of people, causing a stir in the paranormal community. Many viewers believe in the authenticity of the videos, hoping that the YouTuber is finding a way to deal with the paranormal presences, or even encouraging her to move into a new home. A common suggestion by many has been that the apartment get blessed by a holy person such as a priest. Whatever the YouTuber decides to do, hopefully she does so quickly before things get much more sinister. <laughs> Sometimes getting a bad haircut can be scary in and of itself, but what about when alleged paranormal activity also gets involved during the experience? That's exactly what happened in one barbershop as uploaded by GQ Cuts on YouTube. The video begins with a brief explanation that the barbershop recently had security cameras installed inside. We then see footage from the security camera of the barbershop during the day. One barber cuts the hair of a woman while another worker stands by the desk and another customer waits nearby. Nothing seems amiss at first, until about 30 seconds later. On the right side of the video, we can see something odd taking place. Take a look. I remember this clip. This looks, it seems real. Watch, you gotta pay close attention. As you can see, a blue cloak begins to slowly lift up, seemingly by itself. That mannequin head up there is gonna rotate. continues to rise and the customer behind the desk suddenly jolts up in fear, quickly walking away from the desk. The employees ask him what's wrong and the customer explains that the cloak just moved. The employees disregard it but the customer continues to claim it happened. Now, while all this is going on, something else happens in the background that falls in the category of inexplicable. Have a look. Y'all saw that? If we play it back, we can see a mannequin head resting on a shelf. It starts to turn and face the customer. That's crazy. The customer then leaves and the clip ends shortly after. There are some characteristics of the video that have made some viewers suspicious that it's all just a hoax, such as the barber's grin towards the security camera at the very end of the video. Ah, look at that. Look at that grin at the security camera. Some ah. believe the video could just be a prank pulled to raise publicity for the barbershop, while others think this is paranormal activity caught right in action. But what do you think's going on here? Let us know in the comment section below. Spending time with friends usually means having good times and forming fun memories together. But what about when those times go... Hey Heather, I actually looked into getting bobbleheads. They're so expensive. They're like $80 a freaking bobblehead. I'm like, uh-uh, can't do that. From fun to downright horrifying. That may have been what occurred to one group of friends. Oh, uh, oh, an AOK -okay Funko Pop? That's interesting. Let me see something right quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> Exclusive. That's that's some exclusive stuff right here. 
Go fan made one right here. Bam, bam. Then you got this one. Fire. Got, oh, got my own Funko Pop. Yo, hey, y'all, somebody need to hit them up and uh, tell, tell the brand, tell the company that makes these. They need to go ahead and mass produce a bunch of the AOK -okay ones, right? Keep it a limited run, though. Maybe, like, only a thousand. Check it out, though. Yo, 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 yo. Look at that. And they got the Nope Not Me and the AOK -okay on the hat, boy. Y'all ain't ready. Got to speak your truth right there. Y'all ain't ready. These, these, <laughs> I love them. When spotting a creepy figure in the distance, this eerie clip was sent to us by one of our viewers, Bianca. Viewers see a group of friends hanging outside under blankets, chatting with one another. One of the friends pulls out his iPhone and checks the weather, discussing the temperature. This goes on for another minute or so, until the camera operator moves the camera around, where viewers can see a house in the distance. Watch what they caught on camera. It's cool, right? I love those things. Viewers can see two large yellow eyes peeking out from the doorway of the home. The eyes look like they're part of a larger yellow brownish head. The camera operator turns the camera back in a panic and the video suddenly ends. The large eyes and peculiar shape of the figure certainly resemble an alien-like creature. The figure's grilling stare is also particularly haunting, almost as if it's stalking the boys. So is this an intruder spying on the boys or something a little more mysterious? Let us know your thoughts down below. Yeah, this one is so accurate. It got the piercing on the left ear, too. <laughs> it's so accurate. I actually just got this other ear done, too. So now it needs a piercing on the other one. I'm freaking... I just love how good this came out, man. Got my own Funko. Woo! And this one got the Speak Your True shirt. I love it. <laughs> it's some AOK -okay underwear. You know what? I'll look into that. <laughs> I'm for real. I'll look into that. It would seem an apparent haunt. They got to be boxer briefs because that's all I wear. Haunting can happen at any time and anywhere. Popular YouTubers, Mighty Car Mods, have become one of the biggest sources of debate for paranormal fans recently, thanks to various sightings in their car workshop. In the first of four clips with potential paranormal activity, we see two men sitting in a car hooked up to a computer to monitor system stats. Here's one of the noises. That's it. Done. Let's go home. They chat casually about the results. When suddenly something very strange can be seen outside of the driver's window. Take a look. It is so far made 22 kilowatts. If we take another look, a nearly transparent white figure appears for a few moments before fading away. Yo, you saw that? Upon closer inspection, it seems the figure has the face of a ghostly woman. Woo, that was crazy. In the second video, the YouTubers are working on a car engine. Keep an eye on the background. When you put a lot of energy into something, we actually love it. Like this car is actually as we can see, an engine crane begins to move very slowly, seemingly all on its own. I actually love it. Like, this car is actually freaking... It creeps to the side before stopping for a moment, starting again until stopping a few seconds later. So we can fix it. It's worth saying as well that this issue that we have is the same thing that would happen if you actually didn't have any... The third clip finds the two men standing next to a car, talking to... I still gotta look into how, how to do the pyjamas. I looked at one point before... And it was, I, I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. It looked like it was just going to cost so freaking much to get some pajamas made. I'm like, why? It costs like as much as the freaking Funko Pops. I mean, the bobbleheads. All of a sudden, a large wooden block in the background slides forwards and falls to the ground. It's going to be excellent. So let's get to work, people. It's going to be... 
One of the men freaks out, asking the alleged paranormal presence, what do you want and why? Excellent. So, let's get to work, people. It's gonna be... What, what do you want is going on? What do you want from us? Seriously? The fourth video finds the same two men standing near a car. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna take notes. I'm gonna take notes, okay? Let me go ahead so I can do research again so I can get those products to you guys. Because it's been a long time since I've gotten you all some new merchandise. But let me take notes on what you all want. Pajama pants, pajama pants, AOK -okay underwear, and AOK -okay pajamas. That's the same thing. What was the other one? Underwear, pajamas, oh, bobblehead. And talking with another man in the background leaning over the engine. In the top left of the video, we can see a box sitting on a mezzanine. It slowly inches forward until it completely falls off and topples to the ground. That's a great question. Was this garage built on top of a cemetery? The charger was spinning. It's getting oil, but we've actually got to make it run. One of the hosts states, that was weird. We've actually got to make it run. That was weird. Uh, we've actually got to make it run properly, and that's why Dave's here. The debate on these videos remains hot with many viewers. Some believe that some of the activities can be explained via a string or a person hidden off camera, manipulating the moving objects. Others think something more mysterious is afoot. For instance, some believe that the engine crane is way too heavy to be moved by a simple string issue that we have is the same thing that would happen if you actually didn't have but what do you think are these car shop owners having a bit of fun or is their shop genuinely haunted so far made 22 kilowatts slap -tam viewer mega squirrel 64 gamer sent in a video that captured something completely spine chilling right next to his mother in their living room in the provided video, there's an explanation by the narrator that a ghost was caught on live camera. I think I've seen this before. The footage was captured via their doorbell camera as they received a package. The video cuts to the footage in question, where we can see a woman, the uploader's mother, sitting on a couch. Our viewer claims they have no idea who the spooky figure is sitting right next to her. It's crazy. I see this weird looking figure on the right. The figure seems to have a greyish face and is wearing a dark robe. The video then cuts to a shot from further away, where we see the viewer's father opening the front door with his mother, and the creepy figure is sitting in the background. Now, as you can see, when he moved, it was so right there. The uploader further explains that his sister was in the kitchen and he was upstairs. So there's no way to explain the figure as being a family member in disguise. I was upstairs and my dad was doing a package. Who was that? The clip is played once again in slow motion and with a close up on the unknown entity before the video ends. The fact that the spooky figure is sitting so close to the narrator's mother makes this video both extra bizarre and frightening all the same. One viewer brought up the possibility of the figure actually being a demon hiding under a robe. Others thought perhaps it's a mannequin or a pile of clothing that just happens to look spooky. Give this clip another view and judge for yourself. Going hunting is a popular hobby for many individuals around the world. For YouTuber Tim Wells Bow Hunter, his hunting trip took a mysterious turn when he spotted something in the sky that couldn't be explained as just another animal. The video begins with the YouTuber broadcasting his hunting trip with his friend. Now, this is a good camera right here. This ain't no Potato 99. Well, I'm in New Mexico and I'm filming with my buddy, Kay. The host states that they're hunting near Area 51 in Nevada, a facility in the US well known for being home to hush-hush experiments and operations as overseen by the US government. Just when they're about to wrap up their hunting session, they notice something strange in the sky. Best I could tell, it was nearly a mile out. The YouTuber zooms in on the object, which looks to be a small electronic device zipping through the air. Interesting. 
glistening in the sun. The object moves very quickly against the wind, and the narrator suggests that it could be made of aluminium. It kind of looked like it was made of aluminum, but... Interesting. It then disappears from sight, leaving the hunters dumbfounded by what they just saw. The YouTuber suggested that it could be some type of UFO, which many believe are common in Area 51 and its surrounding locations, based off numerous sightings from other people. There were many other suggestions. Y'all, y'all think we can get a thousand likes on this live stream? Keep hitting that like button for your boy. Questions from other viewers, including the possibility of it being a balloon, a bird, or some type of humanoid. However, remember that it was flying against the wind, so that would rule out any kind of balloon. It's moving fast too. Many viewers were impressed with the quality of the video, as compared to many other similar UFO sightings that are often blurry or shaky. So could this really be some kind of craft being tested in Area 51? Love to get your take on this in the comment section below. Facts, this is phenomenal quality video footage, especially with the zoom in. It's not losing much detail. Usually when you zoom in, it loses detail. But if you're using a telephoto lens or really a, lens, a zoom lens, it's not going to lose detail ever. And moving fast against the wind. Interesting. YouTuber Stephanie Almaga claims to be able to see and hear dead people. In this video, she records some of the bizarre happenings that regularly occur in her home. She films her smoke detector beeping and explains that it sometimes goes off despite having no batteries. Nothing. Oh, did you hear that beep? That was pretty loud that time. Nobody behind my door. See, this is the smoke alarm that I'm talking about. There's one right there. But they do it all through the house and they all do it and not one of them have she need to upgrade to an iphone because this android is not giving batteries in them you can see because there's not even a red light even an electrician was unable to find a reason for the unexplained sounds that it makes stephanie believes that the beeping indicates that a spirit may be nearby but it'll do that beep and i know when it's doing it i've got ghosts or something going on you might just need a new um smoke detector Suddenly, the TV in the living room turns on. Now, okay, do you hear that? My TV just came on. Oh, and the alarm just went off again. A Mickey Mouse cartoon can be seen playing, creating an eerie vibe. It just came on. Holy crap. Stephanie asks the ghost to give her a sign if it was them that turned on the TV. I'm going to reach down and turn it off. If that was a ghost, give me another sign. Anything. Suddenly, a light on the other side of the room mysteriously switches on. She crosses the room to show the location of the light switch, pointing out that if anyone had been standing there, they would have easily have been spotted by the camera. There is nobody in this house. The lights are right there, if anybody. Then, just after she switches the line off. Why in the world does she walk in, why does she walk the way that she walked to get to this hallway or room? That was weird. She, instead of walking straight across, she walked to the left. Instead of, instead of walking right here, she walked all the way around here. Suddenly, a light on the other side of the room mysteriously switches on. She crosses the room to show the location of the light switch, pointing out that she immediately goes if far left. If had been standing there, they would have easily have been. Like, like we shouldn't have to see all the dining room and all of this spotted stuff. by the camera. There is nobody. She goes in the all house. the way to go this. That made no sense. Look, the lights are right there. If anybody. Then, just after she switches the light off, the camera captures something truly terrifying. Take a look. I'm gonna turn it off. It was even a look. If anybody, oh my God! What the? She saw something. Oh my God! If you slow it down, a creepy pale face in the corner of the adjacent room can be seen. Barely. Stephanie screams in terror and quickly leaves the area. Oh my God! 
<laughs> However, she soon gathers the courage to return, only to discover that the room is now empty. I am not losing my mind. What the hell? You are losing your There's mind. There's nobody in here to look. You know what? She's right. She's not losing her mind. She's not. My bad. Let me. I take that back. She already lost it. There's nobody anywhere. While viewers seem skeptical that the beeping smoke detector could be caused by spiritual activity, no one's been able to explain the other aspects of this video. How did the TV and lights turn on all by themselves? And who was the creepy figure lurking in the darkened room? If Stephanie really can see dead people, maybe it's time she thought about moving to a new house. Oh, I'm a turn oh. It was even a look, if anybody all right. Yeah. We've been in here for two hours with 41 minutes to spare. We're probably gonna be here for another hour. Let's go. Big long live stream, three hour live stream. Often people think that ghost videos are only reserved for the dark recesses of YouTube and other social media platforms. However, when a reputable source like Asianet Subana News shares a ghost video, even the most hardened skeptics start to pay attention. The clip shows a group of men standing at a gas station. They're all looking towards the camera, completely oblivious to anything that's happening behind them. Suddenly, something bizarre happens. Take a look. Look at that mist, it's smoke. Did somebody blow smoke? As you smoke? can see, a ghostly figure floats past. Or maybe somebody blew smoke. It moves quickly behind the group of men before flying upward and disappearing into the sky. The figure's shape resembles a human figure with pieces of cloth or wisps of smoke trailing behind them. Some viewers have suggested that it reminds them of a witch flying by on a broomstick. However, in this case, the figure is transparent, making it impossible to confirm any definite details. It could have been smoke. That would have been a great explanation as to why it completely vanished at one point, because smoke does that. So what could this eerie shape be? A ghost, a witch, or somebody blowing a cigarette puff, or something else entirely. Take another look at the footage and judge for yourself. Yeah, we need about 46 more likes to hit a thousand likes during the live stream. Your likes has gotten us to a thousand live viewers. Shout out to everybody that's here right now. Welcome to the members only channel members only live stream. Channel members chat only get it right sometimes it's hard to tell what's scarier the normal or the paranormal the, the freaking normal in this tiktok video from blissfully ironic either explanation could be just as terrifying i say that because people are scary the tiktoker begins recording soon after he hears something in the backyard at first he suspects that it might be his neighbor so he grabs a flashlight and peeks out the window what is Hear that? Unable to see anything unusual, he decides to open the back door and bravely steps out into the yard to take a look around. He pans the flashlight across the fence line. Then, just as it reaches the edge of a small shed, he spots the potential culprit. He's trying to catch his neighbor being a creep. Who's that? Oh, 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 oh. On review, you can see a dark figure that quickly disappears into the shadows. It's right there. Some viewers have suggested that it could be yet another sighting of a mysterious shadow person. However, others think it's more likely to have been a human dressed in a black face mask and dark clothing, which could suggest someone was casing the joint looking to break in. If you were confronted by an eerie figure in your backyard, which would you prefer? Some sort of supernatural entity or a human prowler with unknown intentions? In the future, this TikToker may want to think about installing some well-placed security cameras. Exactly, Heather. Exactly. Popular YouTubers, the Sidemen, regularly go to interesting locations to record their content. In this video, they gather at an abandoned prison to play a creepy game of hide-and-seek. 
The hiders head into the prison wearing the same style of orange jumpsuits typically associated with prisoners. It's the middle of the day, so they begin the game by searching for the darkest corners of the facility in which to hide. At one point, two of the crew head for the basement. As they enter, an eagle-eyed Redditor by the name of Rob Impulse has noticed something rather creepy. It seems that the sidemen might not have been the only ones in the prison that day. Take a look. I'm gonna get the jump scare of my life. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Look at all the moths. At first, it can be very difficult to see, as the basement is made up of a series of dark, interconnected hallways. However, if you watch closely, you may be able to spot an unexplained figure lurking in the background. I'm gonna get the jump scare of my life. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Look at all the If you brighten the footage, it suddenly becomes apparent that the mysterious figure is also dressed in an orange jumpsuit, similar to the ones the players are already wearing. However, according to the video, only two crew members ventured into the basement. That's what I'm saying, Char. And I'm not one of them. They don't seem to notice the strange figure and continue their game. One of you is in here, I can feel it! Once the keen-eyed viewer pointed out the chilling figure, the speculation in the comments section began. Some suggested that it was probably just another member of the crew hiding in the darkness. However, others thought that the camera might have inadvertently captured the spirit of a former inmate. Have another look and judge for yourself. Oh, I'm gonna get the jump scare of my life. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to look at all the moths. Yeah, they had to see that. Home security cameras are becoming an ever more frequent source of creepy footage. In this video, TikToker Miss Haley Michelle has spotted something strange that was captured by her front door camera. The motion sensor seems to have been triggered as two cars heading in opposite directions pass by the front of the house. All right, so here's the video again. I just wanted you guys to get a better idea of it and let me know what you think. At least that's what it looks like at first glance. However, if you zoom in and slow the footage down, you can see what the camera has actually captured is something else entirely. Right. Take a look. It wasn't a car coming the other way. It turns out that there's actually only one car. The uploader mentions that at first they thought the second line could have been a reflection. At first it appears to be a car and a light moving in opposite direction. We thought it was a reflection until we zoomed in. That was until they noticed that it actually appeared to have legs. We see the car go by and then we see the light go in the opposite direction. The light turns into an orb which turns into legs is what I'm seeing. Do you see this too? And how is it going the same speed as a car? The close-up shows what looks like an orb of light moving through the air at the same height and speed as the headlights of the other car. Hey Candy Girl, you gotta you gotta have some stamina to do some paintballing. Last time I did it, I was like <gasps> as soon as we started, I was like, God damn, I can't after it passes the like, that was real war I would have been done car the light gradually fades and seems to morph into a pair of human legs the legs continue walking down the street until disappearing off screen orbs are often thought to be common manifestations for spiritual energy However, this may be the first time that someone's ever captured footage of an orb morphing into a partial human figure. Does this footage prove that orbs are indeed supernatural in nature, or could there be some other explanation for this strange footage? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. All right, so here's the video again. I just wanted you guys to get a better idea of it and let me know what you think. These days, whenever anyone hears a strange noise in their home, their first instinct seems to be to go and grab their phone and start recording. Sometimes the camera holder ends up with a terrifying video, like this one uploaded to TikTok by I Am The Hunter. The two people are clearly spooked when they hear strange noises that seem to be coming from the closet. Seriously? Yeah. Look at the they appear to be the only ones in the house and seem to have no idea who or what could be causing the sounds. They cautiously approach the closet, calling out to whatever's inside. 
However, when they finally swing the door open, the space is empty. The camera holder then quickly turns around to continue searching the house for the source of the sound. Y'all yeah, about 23 more likes away from a thousand likes. Thank y'all. We got 12 new channel members in the house. As they do, they manage to inadvertently record the potential culprit. Take a look. Upon review, a dark figure on the other side of the living room can be seen. How did they not see that? It's only visible for a second, and if you're not paying attention, then chances are you'll miss it. Facts. Here it is again in slow motion. What do you think this eerie figure could be? A human intruder, or perhaps even a ghost or shadow person? Let me know your take on this in the comments section below. TikTok account Creepy Pesto regularly shares scary videos with no accompanying explanations. Yo, as dope as that look, Cap. This piece of terrifying footage may just haunt your nightmares. The clip shows a young girl at a playground with her father. She points to something behind him, motioning for him to turn around. Immediately, we see what has caught her eye. Take a look. Oh, I forgot all about that mess. As you can see, there's a ghoulish child lurking mere inches away from her father. We see that clip. She has ashen bro. gray skin. Her dark sunken eyes and sinister smile seem to suggest her likely malevolent intentions. Evil. Clearly spooked by what he's just witnessed, the father drops the camera. But if you watch the clip in slow motion, it seems to reveal that the ghoulish girl actually starts to vanish. So like she ain't got no nose. Some viewers have suggested that it could simply be an ordinary girl wearing creepy makeup or even a mask. However, this doesn't explain how she manages to disappear in the final seconds of the footage. Right. Maybe this mysterious it's, maybe, vanishing maybe, act could suggest that the man in his door... Maybe she wasn't disappearing. Maybe it was just motion blur. Motion blur can make something look like it's disappearing. Yeah, I think it was motion blur. Generally, going to the local store is a rather mundane task. However, not so for this man, who found himself the unwitting star of a very mysterious... No, it didn't, Char. That's a lie. It got me in the past. ...video. Let's take a look. I, I swear we done seen this clip like 20 times in the past two months. The footage, which appears to have been taken from a security camera, shows the man standing in an aisle. He takes a product off the shelf and begins examining it. Suddenly, a box from the shelf behind him floats forward, appearing to hover in mid-air. A few seconds later, another box flies off the rack in front of the man and onto the floor. Surprised, the man bends down to pick it up just as the floating object also falls to the floor. Yeah, both Funko Pops got my chain on there. My chain. Where's my chain? I don't even got my chain on right now. I've been wearing that chain since I was a kid. Both of them got the chain and both of them got the earring. But only this one got the dash and the eyebrows. <laughs> they missed that detail on this one. And the eyebrows more hidden under the cap on this one. They, you can see my eyebrows on this one. I love these. Yeah. I put them under my armpit. That's how much I like them. Like this. Startled voices, presumably those of employees watching the footage, can be heard in the background, with one suggesting that it could be the work of a poltergeist. Oh my God, the they don't stand very well. The way the first box appears to slide off the shelf and hang in mid-air without any support certainly seems within the realm of the supernatural. And with no other people standing nearby, it seems difficult to explain the situation any other way. 
If it turns out that this video does indeed show a poltergeist, then the man may have been incredibly lucky. After all, it seemingly chose only to manipulate the items on the shelf while leaving the unaware shopper to continue about his day. The reason I don't have it on is because I was wearing different jewelry yesterday. I was wearing um, gold. My, my necklace that I usually wear is silver. And I take it off if I'm wearing my gold chain. So that's why I don't have it on. I forgot to put it back on. My bad. YouTuber Sylvia C is no stranger to paranormal activity. With many unusual events occurring in her kitchen, this video confirms what many often suggest, that the kitchen can be a dangerous place to be confronted by the supernatural. As the video begins, all seems normal. However, the peace and quiet is soon interrupted. Something's moving. As you can see, a piece of cutlery begins to swing back and forth all on its own. Moving. As the camera holder moves in for a closer <coughs> inspection, it falls forward onto the countertop. Soon after, several more pieces are disturbed, almost as if violently knocked from their stand by some sort of unseen force. I remember this clip too. Then, just as everything seems to settle once again, a knife flies from a block and lands on the kitchen floor. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Luckily, the camera holder is standing far enough away from the dangerous object, which could have caused a serious injury. Oh my god, no. <laughs> the woman then asks the unseen entity if it needs her help in some way and, if so, to move something as a sign. Uh, if you want my help, please move something if you want my help. Not true, April. I'm wide awake. I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm wide awake. You know what I'm saying? When I get sleepy, I'll be over here like this. And I be saying nonsense. If you ever see me, catch me and I'm talking on and what I'm saying don't make any sense, it's because I'm sleepy and I just be rambling. I don't even be knowing what I be saying. But anyway, how does woman going to sit here and ask the thing, oh, if you want me to help you, please make something move. It's been doing that the whole time and you're not doing anything to help it. No sooner have the words left her mouth that a pot on the stove begins to turn. <laughs> uh, do you want my help? Please move something if you want my help. It's been moving stuff the whole time, woman. Many and you still ain't helped it. Viewers have questioned the intentions of the potential poltergeist in this video. The sharp knife being thrown onto the floor is certainly suspicious. However, the fact that the entity appears to respond when the woman asks if it needs help Candy girl, the reason why I keep flipping it back and forth is because it's so hot in here. This new PC gives off a ton of heat. And I got a little cooler thing right in front of me, a little little AC thing, you know, with the with the water in it. But um, it's a bit noisy. I don't I don't want to turn it on right now. It'll be too distracting. Sorry, can't do it. Even though I need it, can't do it. Let me let me, let me know if you can hear it. Communicate. Whatever the case may be, let's hope that this woman's able to figure out its message sooner rather than later. Can you hear it? You want my help? It's on. I got it on low. You want my help? It has four settings. I got it on low right now. It's working. It's working. It's, it's cooling me off a little bit. Most people probably have an idea of how they think they would react if they were to come face to face with a ghost. While many may see themselves acting brave in such a situation... I'm not. I'm a boo-boo on myself. The truth is that most would probably run in fear. I might be stuck in fear. In this video shared to YouTube by Maduka Narote, we've seen this clip too. You get to see what a genuine reaction to something supernatural might look like. The footage, which appears to have been captured on a security camera, shows a room with a desk and two chairs opposite it. A man sits behind the desk using his phone as two other men enter the room from the front door. 
This looks so staged. The three of the men begin to speak before one of the men leaves. The two remaining men continue to talk for several more seconds until something eerie is captured on camera. Take a look. Startled, the pair look at the chairs. However, they soon resume talking. Suddenly, the chairs move once again. This time, they're lifted into the air with enough force to slam into the door. Scared, the men scatter. One runs through the front door while the other opens a side entrance and flees into the darkness. Understandably, this video has been met with mixed opinions. Some feel that the clip's been staged, noting what appears to be some overacting. Right. However, others in the comments section think... Thank y'all. I'm glad y'all can't hear the little AC, the Arctic AC. That's what it's called, Arctic Air. I got it at Walmart. It's like $20. I don't know. But I'm glad y'all can't hear it because I need it. It feels so good. You, you should see the breeze coming out of it. It's, it's creating mist. It's cool. It's actually a genuine response. Imagine how you might react to the same situation. Running for the near... I'm the same way, Char. I get more silly when I'm tired. Given the circumstances. I'm tired of seeing this clip play over and 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 over. I know that much because I've seen it 50 11 times. Surely no parent ever wants to witness something creepy occur around their child. Unfortunately, no. that seems to be what happened to YouTuber Original Bayless as he was filming his toddler playing on the floor. Okay. In the video, we see a young child. Oh, look at the double little bike. I want one. Child sitting in a living room with a mix of. I'm, I'm so serious. Right now, I, there's nothing more in life that I want right now than a kid. And, and obviously, a, a freaking wife. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, I need it like tomorrow. Boys scattered behind them. Oh, look at The child's father explains that for the last five minutes, one of the toys has been moving by itself without explanation. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that, but that thing just keeps moving completely by itself. That's crazy. It continues to rotate in a circle. Doing its own thing there. Okay. At what? Nope, I won't. I'm, I'm leaving this house after this dang on video, Char. To go get me a little late night bite to eat because I've only eaten once today. I am not sleepy. At the point, the toy appears to hit a green ball, causing it to roll forwards. And plus, I've been over here sipping on this matcha. If you can't tell, this stuff right here keeps you awake. It's almost like coffee, but not. And nothing really around it. It's been doing it for about five minutes or so. The, the general consensus from viewers is that the toy's movement is certainly creepy. However, some have wondered if the toy itself is motorized and has a rolling head. I was thinking the exact same thing. That thing might have a rolling head. Kinda creepy. Maybe not. So what do you think? Is the uploader just playing funny buggers with us? Or is this genuinely something supernatural caught on film? Love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. And nothing really around it. It's been doing it for about five minutes or so. The Most people visit the library in order to read or study in peace and quiet. In this video, however, <coughs> there's anything but tranquility. Mm. In the footage, which appears to have been taken from a series of internal security cameras, you can see various areas of the library. One in particular picks up something rather unusual. Take a look. Okay. Wow. The eerie stillness. This whole room is probably um, com uh, computerized, like a video game setting, like a background. You know what I'm saying? This is, that book is, uh, is animated. Is suddenly interrupted when one of the books at the table appears to levitate in midair. The book then opens up as if someone or something is attempting to read it. While there's little information available on this footage, all we can do is speculate about its authenticity. 
However, the original uploader has circled <coughs> what appears to be a fan attached to the ceiling in the upper left corner of the video. That fan ain't... What the what? Why? The what? You think a fan is going to make a, a book float up into the air, levitate, open, and then slowly fall back down? What that fan got to do with... Look. If you look closely, you can see that it seems to be switched off. Uh, small brain energy. Small brain energy. Ruling out the possibility of... I don't matter if that freaking fan was switched on and off. It ain't doing nothing. ...but being somehow responsible for the book's movement. Oh, Still, even if the fan was working, it would do little to explain the book's seeming ability to hover in mid-air. Duh! Of course, a lot of people have pointed out that it could just be CGI. Duh. So what do you think? CGI hoax or genuine floating book? Let me know what you think down below. CGI hoax. For shizzle. As is often the case, renovating a house can lead to some strange discoveries. Bizarre items in the attic or an old newspaper between the crawl space. However, discovering a dormant, potentially dangerous paranormal presence is probably not that common. Initially, YouTuber Rocky Mills thought that it was a squatter that might have been responsible for a series of... I remember this clip. Mysterious. This is the clip where they go down into the basement. And when they get down there... I believe maybe it sounds like someone ran up at them and then the guy runs off and he drops the camera and then something like kicks the camera because it spins. When he reaches the basement, he points the camera down the stairs and calls out into the darkness. Watch. Hello? Receiving no response, he decides to move on. Hello? After another minute or so of searching, a door slowly begins to open. Indy? The that ain't no squatter. The moves in for a closer look. However, there doesn't seem to be anyone or anything nearby. I am going for a burger char. Yay! Ain't no good burger spots gonna be open that late, so I gotta settle for Mickey D's. And I'm not gonna be loving it, but it's gonna be alright. Son. I don't even do McDonald's like that unless I'm eating super, super late like this. Leave the door to the basement slams shut. The man immediately opens it and calls down the stairs one more time. Again, there's no response. Who is it? It's about to come the get you. The light then begins to flicker. <laughs> Spooked, the man drops the camera and runs from the building. And even the way he dropped it, 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 it was almost as if he dropped it. This is the ground. This is how high the phone was off the ground. He dropped it from so low. Because I feel like if it was a real drop from the angle and the height that he was actually at, it would have been so much more dramatic than it was. It was just like perfect. Perfect for this shot. All seems still and quiet until something rather chilling occurs. Take a look. Slight movement and then a full spin. The camera begins to spin wildly as a deep breathing sound can be heard in the background. for several seconds before coming to a stop. You know what I could do, Burger King? That's even closer to me than McDonald's. Decisions! The camera then remains motionless on the floor for another minute or two. Then the man comes back to pick it up. Many view. He never left the house. 
If I was him, I would have ran up at the house and been like, forget that phone. Why he even drop it in the first place? He, he didn't want nothing in his hands. It's agreed that the activity seen in this video appears to be genuine and that the man made the right decision not to enter the basement. Shit, honey pineapples. It, it's right where I stand. It's, it's Taco Bell, then it's Burger King, then McDonald's a little bit further down the street. You know what? Taco Bell? I'm scared. Can't do it. Alone. Who is it? <laughs> When he came back to get the phone, he didn't even act like he was scared no more. I would have came back like... <laughs> While the favorite haunts of the supernatural seem to be old, decrepit, or well-lived-in buildings, could it be possible that restaurants are also prone to paranormal sightings? That seems to be the case in this video, uploaded to YouTube by Daily Pakistan Global who captured the footage whilst eating at a restaurant named Broadway Pizza. The narrator explains that he and his friend had just come into the restaurant to grab some lunch when they thought they saw one of the chairs move by itself. I usually don't eat that trash food. I really wanted some uh, a sub from Publix today. But when I got there, the line was so long. I would have ate half the sub earlier and then the other half now after the live stream, even though it's super late. Shouldn't be eating this late, but I didn't get to get my sub, so I'm hungry. So we just came to Broadway for lunch, and it's this. It's too late to cook. I'm not about to go in there and cook. Thinking quickly, the YouTubers pulled out a camera and attempted to catch the potential poltergeist in action. Outlet, then. Sure enough, after a few seconds, one of the chairs moves as though being pulled by some sort of unseen force. Uh, Could make a salad. Crash at Minas Road. This chair literally moved to the <laughs> The narrator and his friend react in shock and the clip abruptly ends. Minas Road. This chair literally moved to the <laughs> Viewers have several theories about this video. Some have suggested that it might be a promotional stunt cooked up by the restaurant's owners. Others are more confused and surprised by the footage and are not sure what to believe. Outlet in uh, Rashid Minas Road. This chair literally moved to the <laughs> Without further information, this clip can only remain open to interpretation. Does it show something supernatural? Or could it be a clever plan to attract more paranormal enthusiasts to the restaurant? <laughs> I remember that clip too. While videos of objects moving around or falling off tables for no obvious reason are certainly I got a Wendy's down the street for me too. See I live in a I live in a city. Got a Wendy's right down the street for me. But last time I went there I was eating my freaking food in the parking lot and, and the dude that worked there backed into my car. While I was sitting there eating, I was just about to leave. Now, now I'm scared to go to Wendy's, cause that was the second time my car got messed up in that parking lot just being parked. I was like, nah, I can't do that no more. Gary, when they contain a potential paranormal entity, they become a little more chilling. That may be just what occurs in this clip uploaded to the YouTube channel DM Secret Facts. In the video, we see what looks to be a kitchen. In the foreground, there's a table and chairs. Suddenly, the ceiling line begins to flicker, illuminating the room with an eerie glow. Several objects fall from the table. The other light flickered too at the same time. And the lamp begins to bend. Yeah, that, that light. All is still until a menacing black figure suddenly appears at the table. The figure is only visible for a split second. I went. That was obviously a, a freaking. Come on now. <laughs> that was the easiest thing to explain. Everything else I can't really explain. The footage, the quality is bad enough to where you can hide a string or a fishing line very easily 
to pull that pin or whatever it was off the table to make this lap fold down. But as far as that dude appearing there, that was that was easily just a different clip of that guy being there, edited into the middle of this scene. Super easy, super easy edit. If you pause the footage, you can see it in greater detail. Take a look. Yeah. Shortly after, the figure reappears, this time in the kitchen. Super easy. There it goes again. Super As easy. As before, its appearance is brief, and only those with a keen eye are likely to see it. You don't even need a keen eye. You just need not to blink. Super easy edit. A moment passes, then the door in the background begins to open and close, seemingly all on its own. This, this video quality is so bad. That I thought that was a wall in back there. You can't even see the lining of the door. While the initial movement of the objects on the table is difficult enough to explain, the sudden appearance of the dark, shadowy figure is even weirder. Though it's only visible for a split second, its presence evokes an uneasiness that only adds to an already creepy video. A video that seems to offer more questions than it answers. So what do you think the mysterious figure could be? A ghost? Shadow person perhaps? Or is it simply a glitch in the film? Tough Let line. me know what you think in the comments section. Thank you for the fight. I don't know Big Baby in the positive words. There's nothing creepier than take... I'm with you on that, Char. I'm with you on that. Sometimes, most of the time, I gotta be my own positivity, unfortunately. One Reddit user, STF... That don't always work well. ...pictures that show just I that situation. Originally believed to have been taken in Mexico, before it was then proven that they were actually taken in Manchester, England, by Twitter user Iconic Autograph. In the first picture, taken at night time, viewers can see a tree. Perched high up is a dark, menacing figure with piercing white eyes looking directly into the camera. Even stranger is the fact that the figure seems to be wearing some type of white hood over its head. In the second photo, the bizarre figure has moved slightly, seeming to grasp onto the tree as it continues to stare into the camera. The story behind the two pictures is somewhat complicated. Yeah, we got over a thousand likes. Thank y'all for the members only channel members only live stream thousand likes, baby. The original poster claimed that these photos were taken in a mountain range in Mexico by a man who believed it to be a bruja or witch. In Mexican culture, brujas are known to cause trouble for those around them. Another idea was that the fic it could be a Nahuel, or a human who has the ability to take on an animalistic shape. Ew. The user who stated the pictures were actually taken in Manchester received several suggestions about what it could actually be. Many believe that the figure could be some type of animal, perhaps a dog or small bear, but one has to wonder. That ain't no dog or a small bear. How a dog could climb a tree as suggested by the photo. It could be pareidolia. It could be a branch that's folded over and this is like an owl just perched up in a tree and it just almost made it look like that's hair. I don't know. Since there's yet to be a confirmation as to what or who this might be, the mystery remains open for all to contemplate. As always, I'll throw this out to you, the audience. What do you think that thing is? Thank you, Char. I appreciate that. Human photo bombers can be annoying slash hilarious depending on the circumstances. But what about ghostly photo bombers? This spooky interruption happened to Reddit user Big Revolution 4581 during a wedding party in Canada in 2018. In the photo, we can see two men sitting at a table posing for a picture. Just behind them stands a man, semi-transparent, with short black hair, yellow eyes and dark lips. The man looks right at the camera with a devilish grin. That's crazy looking. The photo is certainly creepy in its own right, but it That's a crazy photo. It's the story behind the picture that adds to the scare factor. The original uploader of the image revealed that he had often received scratches on his skin at his house prior to this particular photo being taken, and felt strange burning sensations right before the scratches would appear. 
He's never been able to find the reason behind these strange injuries. No one remembers a person walking by when the photo was taken, so it does make it difficult to confirm whether the figure in the photo was just another party goer. Even creepier, the men claimed they were directly against the wall, so it would have been impossible for someone to be standing behind them. They're not directly against the wall. They're not. I see a wall way over there in the door. And another door over here. Why they lie? Could this spooky figure captured on film be the same one causing the scratches and burns to the unlucky original poster? Waverly Hills Sanatorium has the honour or misfortune, depending on who you ask, of being one of the most haunted places in all of America. Originally opened in 1910 to house tuberculosis patients, the sanatorium is now open for haunted tours and paranormal investigations. Hey, nah, I was scared to go there. You might catch TB. Reddit user GhostGuy68 had the opportunity to see something extra ominous on a tour of the facility. Miss Hopper, thank you. Fill up with fans of the paranormal. Viewers can see a black and white photo with a white post to the center right. Good night, candy girl. See you next time. It stands the figure in question. Upon closer inspection, viewers of the picture can make out what seems to be a human-shaped ghost with a white head. The Reddit user who shared this image explained that he shot the photo with a regular digital camera with no flash. It wasn't until he lightened the photo up in editing that he saw the mysterious figure, so he denies that the figure could be the result of a flash or any other camera malfunction. That makes sense, and I believe him. He also believes that the figure seems to be a nurse carrying a clipboard or chart. As the sanitarium has a long history of employed nurses, this may well be a ghostly nurse of the past. The question then becomes if she has good intentions or not. Photos of young children are supposed to act as memories of cute moments in a child's life for family members to look back on. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for Reddit user Lord Cancer's nephew. In one eerie photo, this young child was seen with something far from cute. Even worse, the photo itself has been the centre of many mysterious disappearances. In the image, we can see a young child crawling on the floor looking up at the camera. It almost looks like there's a hand that's about to reach for this child. Above him and to the left, we see something that looks anything but normal. There's a black shape that may be a type of chair with a greyish looking purse hanging off of it. Extending from the chair is a white, ghostly long arm and what looks to be a hand floating directly above the child. Right. Around the long arm seems to be other formations of white that resemble wisps of air. Right. I see all of that. The child's uncle revealed that ever since this picture was taken, the photo has been found in various parts of the house, with no explanation as to why it had been moved. None of the other family members claimed to have ever touched it. Oh, as a solution to this terror... Oh yeah, Char, you already know. Another one coming. Look for channel members only. Be baby! Fine problem, the family glued and taped the image to a photo album, so it wouldn't disappear. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Additionally, the uncle reported that one time when the child was younger, he had mentioned seeing grey shapes in a field where a plane had once crashed. Could this child be prone to paranormal figures and activity? And if so, could the figure in the photo cause other ghostly figures to want to show themselves to this child? Throughout the paranormal community, there have long been discussions about parallel universes, with many believing that these other universes could be home to alternative versions of ourselves or others. Much of the time, people believe that figures of an ulterior universe come with bad or downright scary intentions. On Reddit, user WrightPercentage2310 offered a photo that may be an example of this happening right before our eyes. In the photo, we see the Reddit user to the left smiling and looking somewhere off frame. To the Reddit user's right is some glass, explained later to be the windshield of a pickup truck. 
Upon closer inspection, we can see that although this appears to be the same girl, the perspective is all wrong and she has a completely different facial expression. Instead of smiling, she looks angry with no smile whatsoever. Yeah, I remember this picture. I, I, I can't explain it though. Right Percentage 2310 explained that her brother took the photo as she was sitting on the passenger side of a pickup truck. When she first had the photos developed, she flipped through the collection and didn't take any notice of the difference in the reflection. In fact, years had passed before she noticed the bizarre perspective and unusual reflection. She offered the idea that it could simply be a case of double exposure. However, others are convinced this is a glimpse into a parallel universe. Give the photo another look and tell us if you think this could be an alternate version of the Reddit user. Night Rain, it should, it should auto renew for you. Um, but if you were part of those members that received the live stream as a gift, then it won't auto renew. From insects on the lens to wandering children and even paranormal activity. Reddit user mshell2003 gave you as an example of the supernatural variety with the photos he shared to the site. In the first photo, we see the inside of a house. In the center of the photo sits a woman on a reclining chair. And they're like a big old head. Right on top of her appears to be a lit up figure that looks to be a child. It doesn't seem that the woman is aware of the figure right in front of her. In the second picture, we see a porch outside. Thank you, JM, for the fact I don't know the kind porch words. to the lower right-hand side of the photo. Ooh. To the left of her looks to be a small white gray figure on the move. Yeah, on the move to attack her, she better watch out. Perhaps running towards the woman. Craziness. Commentators of the photos have inquired about the history of the house, as they believe there may have been a strange or tragic event that transpired in the house's past that could be used to explain the bizarre happenings. The original poster isn't aware of any past weird happenings occurring at this residence, leaving this mystery completely open. The house owners can only hope that the potential supernatural beings don't have any sinister intentions up their sleeves. What do you think these two bizarre shots have captured? Let me know in the comments section below. There's sleep talking, sleepwalking, and then sleep bonding with ghosts. This is possibly what happened to Reddit user Additional Matter 745. After weeks of sitting up in her sleep, moving her arms around and mumbling to herself, her husband finally caught what could have been the cause of all the strangeness at night time. Mm. In the photo, we see the Reddit user sitting up in her bed, eyes closed, with her arms out, presumably how she acts every night when her husband sees her. Oh, she she be she's a sleepwalker. Directly above one of her hands rests a separate orange hand with a slender arm that that's, doesn't seem to lead to any person. That's crazy. The orange hand just hovers by itself. That's crazy. Why are we saying this hand orange? It don't really look orange. Although it's somewhat of a horror movie cliche, the woman in the picture revealed that the photo was taken inside of her home on a Native American reservation in Minnesota. A-OK -okay plushies. I likes that idea. I like it a lot. There have been stories of ghostly spirits or paranormal figures roaming indigenous reservations over the years. This is not the first time this woman has seen something abnormal appear in her bedroom, making her certain that this isn't a- I made a note of that. Could this orange hand really belong to a spirit of the reservation? If it's trying to make contact with this woman in her sleep, what message is it hoping to convey? Without more info, this bizarre occurrence will have to remain a mystery. Reddit user Europe is my nation shows us another instance of a ghostly figure photo bombing what was supposed to be just another nice photo. In this case, the photo bomber looks to be none other than an old fashioned soldier proving neither annoying nor amusing, but downright terrifying. We see two individuals sitting on chairs outside in the dark. In the center right of the picture, we see a gray ghostly figure that resembles a human male. 
The figure looks to be wearing a type of old-fashioned soldier's uniform, looking more specifically like a Confederate soldier. Oh yeah, ghostly I remember this picture. Soldier seems to be holding a musket in his arms and looks right into the camera. He posed for that camera. He was ready for that picture. Some commentators originally believed that the figure was simply a bunch of branches wrapped around together from trees in the background. These users decided to enlarge the picture and zoom in on the so-called soldier. Heck, I want a plush too. I'm telling you, I'm about to look into it. Quickly changing their minds as to what it could be. Uh, if y'all don't stop, you're gonna make me look into it right now while we still here. To getting a closer look. The shape of the figure is distinctly human and the object he carries definitely resembles an old school musket. Could this soldier be paying a visit to an old battleground that he once died on? Love to hear your thoughts on this mysterious photo in the comment section below. Y'all, we did it! We hit the three hour mark for a three hour long channel members only live stream. Thank y'all for hanging out with your boy for this long tonight. For those of you who have made it all the way through to the end, congratulations. That, hey, that was a challenge. It was a challenge for all of us, <laughs> especially for me, because I'm not a long live streamer like that, but you know. We switch it up sometimes. But y'all, thank y'all so much for hanging out with your boy. Hope y'all had a fantastic week. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Y'all be safe. See y'all later. Plushies. Hmm. Plushies.